Good evening, West Tennessee. We're going to be cutting into local programming, which is our newscast on CBS, as well as on ABC, with a tornado warning being issued very soon for the National Weather Service for Gibson County. We're watching a thunderstorm, which does not appear large at all right now, but the updraft continues to strengthen and intensify over parts of Trenton. So we're watching very carefully for the city of Trenton for this tornado warning, which has been issued just now for Gibson County, as well as Madison County. So we'll be cutting into our local newscast here on CBS as local programming on ABC. It's a tornado warning that's in effect until 6 p.m. for parts of northern Madison as well as Gibson counties. This also includes southwestern Carroll County and eastern Crockett County. So we're, of course, going to be watching very carefully this storm, which continues to strengthen and intensify. Uh, we'll also want to make sure that those in the path are using their tornado precautions. So I want everybody who's in this red polygon here, including for the city of Trenton, especially for the city of Trenton, as well as Milan, Medina, Three Way, Western Gibson County near Eaton and Brazil, and Humboldt, too, to get into your tornado safe place. So we have some tornado tips that we'll share with you once those are available. Uh, from our production department here, but this is the area that's under the tornado warning. Right now, you can see the city of Trenton is in the most imminent threat as this updraft continues to strengthen. We've seen the lightning count rapidly increase for basically the city of Trenton, but especially between Trenton and Dyer on Highway 45 West. So you'll be able to hear the tornado siren sound across parts of Gibson County there. Again, this is a tornado warning that's been issued for the city of Trenton, but many other areas in West Tennessee as well. We're going to do some street level mapping here. Uh, using our tools to give you a bit more of a closer look at where the rotation is happening. You might already be able to point it out though because you can clearly see what's called a hook echo right here. This is where we possibly could have the tornado. It should be just west of Highway 45, west of Grizzard, and uh, west of Dyer too. So let's take a look at some of those tornado tips for you. One of the main things is to stay away from windows, but to just get into the centermost part of your building. So that if that's going to be a bathroom, hallway or closet, that would be the most safest place for you to be. Uh, be the safest place to get away from windows. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible and of course in this case uh, we might be looking at a weak tornado so if you are in the lowest floor and not a basement uh, you should be in a safe place but if a basement's available of course go to that instead and if you have a storm shelter of course, of course go to that too grab a helmet and shoes and abandoned cars and mobile homes and make sure you seek sturdy shelter and of course other things too don't stay in your vehicle if you're in a car that's not a safe place to be in this case. So if you're in the city of Trenton, we have a tornado warning right now, and their lightning count is increasing there, still looking at the possibility for some rotation, which this is a radar-indicated tornado warning that we're dealing with here. Haven't had a tornado spotted, though we have been seeing uh, at least a uh, possibility for some rotation because of a funnel cloud that was spotted in Lake County from this exact same cell. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why the National Weather Service went ahead and issued a tornado warning. And right here, where I just put that latest arrow. This is where we might also have some small hail starting to develop. Again, right now, not really seeing a whole lot of reports. So we're going to continue to uh, try to access those for you in our newsroom as we continue to track some of these thunderstorms here. I do want to access, though, a couple other features for you first, uh, namely just to look at the uh, velocity. That's one of the data uh, points that we look at to give us an idea for whether or not there's any strong rotation. And of all the thunderstorms in West Tennessee, this is really the only one in our viewing area that poses a threat for this tornado or for any severe weather for that matter. Let's take a look at the uh, velocity here. We're going to zoom in uh, to parts of Gibson County. We're certainly seeing a feature or a signature on radar that shows us that we at least have some strong winds right north of Trenton on Highway 45 West. So this storm really near the Grizzard community and east of Curry now. We're going to go a little bit more closely in here as this is a very slow moving cell, most of them only moving to the east southeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, so trying to pop up some streets here. We're looking at old Dyersburg Road for a possible location for this funnel cloud or tornado. Reed Road also showing up here as well. We're going to call out some more streets. We've got McFarland Road as well as Beach Grove Road in, again, northern Gibson County, north central Gibson County, and there's Highway 45 West. You keep going east to get to the Trenton Highway, and you keep going east a little bit farther to get to Grier's Chapel Road. Uh, you see a lot more roads here showing up. 
uh, and I'm going to zoom out because this is when we start to get a little bit more, I guess you could say more specific as to which direction the storm is heading in. So let me go ahead and give you a track for those who are watching from parts of Madison and Gibson County. Again, I'll give you a bit of a path for this storm uh, to give you an estimated time of arrival. Again, this storm has been moving to the east southeast at just roughly 22 miles per hour. And I just want to make sure I can get a confirmation of that here first, just before I put that track on air. This storm, again, as we were talking about even yesterday, threat for severe weather, as uh, some of those thunderstorms could at least uh, produce some hail and strong winds, very low threat for a tornado, but that's what's showing up right here. So we'll go ahead and give you a track based on this speed, which according to the National Weather Service, they're estimating it moving at a little bit closer to 40 miles per hour instead of uh, 25. But that's basically giving you an idea for just how relatively slowly some of these thunderstorms have been moving today. Not a lot of them have actually been coming up at a very quick pace as we've seen some thunderstorms at least move it closer to 60 miles per hour. So moving to the east southeast at about 40 miles per hour. A bit of an estimated time of arrival. I will want to include both Milan and Humboldt in this. I want both cities to, of course, be taking their tornado precautions. This, this storm seems to be heading in that direction, but Milan might just barely be cut off here. So these are a few of the locations that are on the list of the estimated time of arrival for this potential tornado. Again, still just radar indicated rotation here that we're seeing head toward the city of Trenton first. 541 is the estimated time of arrival. So six minutes is the time between now and the possible arrival of that thunderstorm that could be producing a tornado. Fruitland, Gibson, New Enterprise. You also see some other communities showing up on the map there right between Highway 70 and, well, really State Route 104 there, as well as between Highway 45 West and East there in Southern Gibson County. County. I want to take a look at another feature too. This is called storm relative velocity and it's going to give me a little bit more of a local picture for where that storm might be producing some rotation. And we can see that still showing up over parts of just basically north of Trenton now as our radar data continues to update there. Another feature also this is going to be one that detects any debris and I don't really see much of a picture that shows me we've got a tornado on the ground right now. Still a very cluttered picture so we'll continue to try to gather reports from any storm spotters from emergency management and law enforcement in that part of West Tennessee but certainly still have a concerning image there showing up that possibility for some rotation. And then one other feature when you look at radar just plain old radar that shows you where it's raining or where we have heavy rain. If you ever see a bit of a donut hole showing up in the very middle of that storm, sometimes that can also be an indication for where the tornado may actually be. So it would still be very close to Highway 45 West. One more close up view here on this thunderstorm, I'll give you a bit of a street level mapping here to show you where an estimated location. It would be close to where Old Dyersburg Road meets up with Highway 45 West, just north of Trenton and the east of the Grizzard community east of the Curry community as well. Uh, coming a little bit farther south here to try to give you an estimated location. Old Dyersburg Road near Dyer Highway, Trenton Highway 2. Uh, this is Palmer Road and uh, still following southeast on Old Dyersburg Road. The storm almost seems to be following those roads in parallel at least. So here's an updated look at radar. This just came in and still showing up just north of Trenton between Trenton and Dyers where the thunderstorm is actually located. I do want to try to slice this storm just because I came up just at about 528 on air on ABC with an estimated well, size for the thunderstorm itself. That's one of the ways that we'll be able to determine if a storm is getting stronger or weaker. And it was about 40,000 feet then. It's still just coming up just under 40,000 feet now. So the storm itself may be weakening. We certainly hope that it is, and we're gonna hope that that's the case. But um, in the meantime, this tornado warning still is in effect for the next 22 minutes for many parts of West Tennessee, but especially Gibson County. Madison County has been included in the warning. Southwest Carroll County has been included as well as Eastern Crockett County. But I'm specifically concerned with a possible tornado in Gibson County and in especially even more specifically for the city of Trenton. I'm watching the city of Trenton very carefully right now. And I'm just updating uh, a little bit of software here so that I can get a bit more of a uh, up to date, minute to minute updating messaging from the National Weather Service here. Uh, they have continued the tornado warning in effect until 6 p.m. Uh, and we've been seeing some photos and reports at least that uh, funnel cloud touched down in Lake County. And so that's one of the reasons why the National Weather Service went ahead and issued this tornado warning simply for the possibility for a thunderstorm that could produce a tornado 
And in this case, again, starting in Lake County, moving southeast. So of all the features in West Tennessee right now, that's really the only thunderstorm that I'm mostly concerned with. We do have some showers elsewhere, so I do want to take a look at actually some of those as well. Here's a look at the polygon. This shows you the area under the tornado warning. This lone thunderstorm moving into the city of Trenton now, again, possibly could be producing a tornado. So if you're just tuning in, Take your tornado precautions if you are in Gibson County. I'm watching the cities of Humble, Milan, Medina, as well as some smaller communities like Fruitland and New Enterprise, but especially for the city of Trenton. Take your tornado precautions right now. If you're watching from Rutherford, if you're watching from Dyer, uh, those areas, again, especially I would say Rutherford and Kenton and even Bradford, we do have some rain near Bradford, but those are not in the tornado warning. Uh, so we're going to go back and take a closer look at to where exactly we have this possible tornado. It would be most, uh, I guess you could say, most uh, putting Trenton at risk for seeing a tornado at the moment where that tornado is slowly moving to the east-southeast at just about 30 to 40 miles per hour towards the city of Trenton right now. Seems to be that the north side of town is most at risk, but what you just heard, if you just heard that alert, that was an update on the tornado warning uh, that they have canceled it for parts of northwestern Gibson County. You can see they just barely trimmed Dyer out of the tornado warning now. So the threat is mainly for the city of Trenton, Laneview, Tucker's Corner, Union Central, as well as uh, you can see Mount Orange there. I really think the south side of Trenton is looking okay right now, but I would still urge you to take your tornado precautions if you are watching from the city of Trenton at the moment. As we go southeast, you can see Milan though, you're also included. So Milan, take your tornado precautions. Sit uh, New Enterprise, Gibson, Fruitland, and even Humble. Humble, I'm much less concerned with the possibility for a tornado, and even less so for northern Madison County right now. But again, we're still going to keep an eye on that storm. And I just want to quickly put this into uh, motion just so that I can show you what it's been doing over the last 30 minutes. It's been moving mostly to the east southeast. So that's why I'm not as concerned for the city of Humboldt at the moment and more so for the city of Trenton and pretty much right along and north of State Route 104 in eastern Gibson County as that storm continues to move east. The threat for hail seems to be increasing, though. If I just show you the very latest image here, I'm starting to see some darker colors, some darker reds show up, mainly on the northeast side of Trenton. So this is where we might actually have some hail uh, being produced right now. We'll take a closer look and see where that might be. Again, it would be mainly in this area shaded in dark green. I'm just using a couple of different tools that I have to be able to depict where we might have some hail. But if we do, it's actually likely to be small. When the National Weather Service issued this warning, they actually indicated they weren't expecting much more than just penny size hail uh, out of this storm. So hail is not the main threat. It would mainly be, again, from winds that could be included in this possible tornado, which, again, doing some street-level mapping here for you, is right north of Trenton, just where Highway 45 West starts to turn back to the west and then go north. That's where this is located. So let me pop a few more of these street names up here for you. Possible location for the tornado right now would be very close to Green Valley Road, mainly east of Green Valley Road in Trenton, but also near Cotham Road, uh, in the north side of town there and also coming very close to making its way towards narrow gauge road too. So if you know anybody in this area, please send them a message. Please send them an up update. Uh, this, is, uh, this isn't a mistake. This isn't a, a fake alert that was sent. Uh, even though this is a very small thunderstorm, it could still produce a tornado. This is very real. Uh, so a tornado warning still in effect for several counties in West Tennessee, uh, but especially for cities like Trenton and those that you also see showing up here on the map until 6 p.m. Uh, so tornado warning uh, is still in effect. Okay, I am getting a picture now. I'm trying to think about how I'm going to be able to show this to you. What I'm going to do just quickly because I got a f I got a person who told me they have a uh, visual of a funnel cloud in Trenton. So I'm going to try to figure out a way that we can get that picture on air here for you. Uh, but the thunderstorm is going to continue to push off to the east southeast. So if you have just been tuning in, I want to go ahead and update the track for you estimating that this storm is moving to the east-southeast at about 40 miles per hour, which is what the National Weather Service last indicated in their latest update. Uh, this storm is forecast to move closer to the cities like Milan and Medina than it will for Humboldt. Uh, I'm going to include these basically for now, though, and drag us over to the right so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Again, this is an updated estimated time of arrival for the city of Gibson, 557, Milan, 558 for the town of Sitka, 602, Medina, 606, Lavinia, about 609 there in western Carroll County, which is included in the tornado warning as of right now. Uh, 
I don't think that Jackson specifically is in the targeted area right now. It is possible that we could end up having more thunderstorms develop, say, near parts of Brazil or even towards Humboldt and even areas right around parts of the middle fork of the Fork of Deer River um, in western Gibson County soon. Um, simply saying there could be more thunderstorms that develop might, that might end up rotating, but this is the only one uh, that's doing so right now. And this particular thunderstorm seems to be heading more towards perhaps southwestern Carroll County and southeastern Gibson County. County than does for, say, cities like Humboldt or for Three Way or for the city of Jackson. So much cons more concern uh, with the northern, I guess you could say, northeastern parts of Madison County, Southwest Carroll, and Southeast Gibson. Rotation does seem to be weakening, um, but uh, the National Weather Service said they're not going to cancel the warning just yet. So they're going to continue to allow for this to expire at this moment at 6 o'clock. Well, I'll go ahead and do some updates of my own here, though, just to keep you informed for what I'm seeing on the Storm Tracker 7 Max radar. And that's mainly still for the possibility for rotation of a tornado, possible tornado, that is, right over northern Gibson County, mainly outside of Trenton. So let me go ahead. I actually want to pull up a very specific radar site since we're a little bit closer to the site that's located in Paducah. Uh, in this particular view than we are uh, for the one that's located in Millington over in parts of Shelby County. Uh, this is what I typically will look for when I'm trying to observe rotation within a thunderstorm that might be producing a tornado. We've got a green color and a red color. This one says that the wind is going this way and this one says that it's going this way. So we get that rotation right over parts of North Trenton right now. Again, this is basically what we're watching for when we're trying to assess a thunderstorm. We're using a lot of different tools. This one's called the Tornado Debris Tracker or Tornado Debris Detector and this actually shows a very cluttered image so I don't see a lot of debris although we have been getting some uh, reports of funnel clouds being spotted in Trenton. So that would be again relative to this particular cell uh, pretty much corroborating the story from the National Weather Service that we might have a tornado on the ground just north of Trenton right now, but very close to downtown too. Uh, the rotation here indicated just on Highway 45, uh, right over parts of uh, the city of Trenton there. So the picture has become a little bit less, uh, less organized. That's always a good sign. We want the thunderstorm to fall apart. We don't want it to stick around. Uh, but just putting this in motion here, you can see that this storm moving to the east, southeast. Uh, we are actually starting to see what I suspected earlier. I'll just move my desk out of the way so you'll be able to see it. Brazil starting to see some weak echoes show up there. So we could have some more development of these thunderstorms later on this evening for the city of Trenton right now. We'll continue to try to get some reports from emergency management. Um, I see a news anchor, Tom Britt, over here. I'm not sure, Tom, if you're getting any information from the news department, but uh, we'll try to see if we got any reports there from law enforcement because this is very close to a very populated area in Gibson County. Might also still have some small hail showing up just north of Highway 104 on that side of t uh, town too. We got a report that phone lines are down. Just go. I just want to confirm that. Gotcha. So we've, we're, we're having difficulty getting any communication due to cluttered phone lines there. So uh, not seeing any reports of damage just yet. So we'll continue to try to uh, gather those uh, data uh, points if we can throughout the evening. Also just checking even on social media, trying to see what we have going on there. That's a, usually a pretty useful resource for us as people will talk about this um, on air. But uh, not seeing any again right now. Still just one report of a, a funnel cloud that was spotted uh, in the city of Trenton. And uh, we have not actually had a chance to share that photo with you just yet. There were photos that were shared over Lake County when that thunderstorm was much off to the north and west. Uh, so I'm going to try to uh, share at least a visual of that. It looks like you've got a picture of a wall cloud here. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and step out into the weather center so I can actually share this picture with you. I think that would help give you a better understanding for what we're doing here on air on our CBS newscast and cutting into, of course, uh, World News Tonight on ABC. Uh, another update there on the tornado warning. Just going to see what that is from the National Weather Service first. They're continuing it until 6 o'clock. Doppler radar continues to indicate that this severe thunderstorm may be producing a tornado near Trenton, moving to the southeast at 40 miles per hour. So I'll go ahead and just put that track once again on the map for you to show the areas that I'm most concerned with that might see this tornado, a possible tornado at least, uh, over the next several minutes. This thunderstorm again heading in that direction off to the south and east. And over here, I'm going to basically manipulate a computer on this side to see if we can go ahead and get you a visual on that as well. Again, um, a lot of people were commenting that they weren't actually sure if this was a real warning, but it is. Uh, this 
severe thunderstorm popped up. There's a possibility for us to see severe weather today, and we've been mentioning that. But this particular thunderstorm that's heading in towards parts of Gibson County, again, has actually shown some signs of rotation. And even though there's a very low risk for that in West Tennessee today, certainly have seen that low risk come to fruition. So that's an estimated time of arrival for several cities in West Tennessee. And what I want to do here is I want to try to pull up this photo. Um, and we're going to be using a different computer for that, but this will at least give you an idea for what's going on across parts of northern Gibson County. I've actually had a few different people send photos and comments from Old Dyersburg Road and areas just north of Trenton as well. Let's see, this is going to be from Kelly Richardson Pulley. She's sharing this photo with me. If we'll go ahead and just pull up, uh, this is going to be Weather 1. I'm going to go ahead and just bring up the right graphic here quickly. This is going to be not the current view from WBBJ, um, but I do want to go ahead and make sure that I'm uh, showing the right, just the right graphic here for you. Uh, this is uh, the current view from Northern Gibson County, more specifically. And this was what uh, someone sent me from Old Dyersburg Road. What we have here in this picture is actually looks more like it's likely to be a wall cloud. So this was spotted near Old Dyersburg Road, just the north side of Trenton. And this is possibly why the National Weather Service actually ended up issuing the tornado warning to begin with. It doesn't seem to be making contact with the ground, so that's good because uh, we still have not received any reports of damage in the area. But let me go ahead and show you where that picture was taken on our second weather computer here. This is actually going to show you a little bit of a better picture for what we're talking about in terms of location. There's the Laneview community. We were looking at old Dyersburg Road here. This was a little bit earlier this evening when this thunderstorm was a little bit closer to the north side of Trenton. So there's Trenton Highway. And uh, there you go. We start to go into uh, Dyer Highway. And there's Green Valley Road. So here's old Dyersburg Road. Actually, I believe I was saying old Dyersburg Highway, but this is old Dyersburg Road. So this is where that picture might have been taken, right just north of uh, Trenton, as a matter of fact. So. Just right now, what we have here, I believe, based on what I'm seeing on the Storm Tracker 7 Max radar, is a thunderstorm. Might not be producing a tornado as much anymore because the rotation um, doesn't seem to be as organized as it was earlier. We certainly get a much tighter couplet showing up on radar. And the other thing, too, lightning count has been decreasing rapidly. And one more thing I just want to tell you about with this, this particular thunderstorm here real quick. It's just the, uh, basically the slice that I can take of the storm to give you a bit of an information on its height. It was 40,000 feet earlier. Now it's coming down to about 30,000 feet in height. So it's not as tall, which means this thunderstorm is not as strong. And the uh, National Weather Service just said that they are going to let this tornado warning expire at 6 p.m. Uh, Basically, they had a storm spotter call in, which is great. This is the integrated warning team working exactly as it should. Uh, about 10 minutes ago, saying that the uh, rotation was visible within the cloud itself, like you saw in that photo, but it wasn't making contact with the ground and seems at this point still to just be some very weak rotation. So all good news there. Again, I'm continuing to watch a couple of different reports here. I'm seeing uh, some more pictures that were sent in uh, to us, I'm seeing a picture from the Sonic there in Trenton. Basically, we've got a wall cloud showing up. Um, you know what, actually, let's go back over to weather one. I do want to show you one more picture just because it does cap. I think it really does capture my eye here. This is over Trenton right now. This is basically what the sky looks like over Trenton. And that, my friends, is a wall cloud uh, by very uh, every textbook definition of a wall cloud. So this was basically looks like on Highway 45, um, seems to be at least in that area, but very close to Trenton, as the viewer told me on Facebook. And this is the wall cloud that has basically allowed for the tornado warning to be issued in the first place, but certainly could have had briefly a tornado touchdown on the north side of Trenton with that particular thunderstorm as it's been making its way through Gibson County. So that's the wall cloud. That's exactly what that is. Might have had a funnel briefly touch down on the north side of town, but that particular thunderstorm may have and may even still produce a tornado, although the possibility for that continues to look unlikely, in, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and take a look back at the weather computer, the second one that's going to be talking about the um, thunderstorm in question here. Uh, this particular thunderstorm still under the tornado warning until 6 o'clock. They're going to let it expire at that time. But basically, if you're watching from Milan now, you're the next city in line to be seeing this thunderstorm. Humboldt, you're much farther away from the picture here, so even though tornado sirens were sounding in Humboldt, uh, the main concern now is for the city of Milan as this thunderstorm continues to move to the east-southeast. Only four lightning strikes, it looks like, based on my count, uh, in just the last five minutes. So very few 
uh, tally of lightning strikes so far. And uh, that's another sign that this thunderstorm is weakening, but may still try to spin up. If you're watching from any part of West Tennessee, though, besides Gibson County, you might want some more information on what's going on. So let me go ahead and catch you up to speed here. If you're just tuning in, we have a couple now of thunderstorms that might be producing some severe weather in West Tennessee. We had the one that was producing possible tornado in Gibson County that's been moving east-southeast toward the city of Milan. And we also have a new severe thunderstorm warning that was issued just recently for parts of Shelby County. And that one is heading to the southeast, so not really much of a concern for our viewing area, more a concern for parts of southwestern Fayette County and eastern Shelby County right now. Uh, so those thunderstorms still worth keeping an eye on because I think that we could have more develop that would impact the city of Jackson later this evening. Whether or not those would be tornadic still left to be seen and left to be determined. But uh, yeah, we have a, a very uh, at least potent thunderstorm at one point this evening. And so that tornado warning is set to expire for Carroll, Gibson, and Madison County in six minutes. I believe at that time, it's when we're going to be sending it back to local programming on CBS and also join you live, of course, right here on ABC for our local newscast, at least at 6 o'clock. Uh, so the National Weather Service is certainly continuing to follow this, as we will be as well in the Storm Team Weather Center. Uh, but those thunderstorms uh, are ultimately, again, maybe going to be developing a little bit further so uh, later this evening. So we'll continue to watch these thunderstorms very carefully for you throughout the evening and I'll be talking live at 6 o'clock on ABC and 6.30 on CBS as well. So for the entire area of West Tennessee, let's go ahead and look at some other thunderstorms. Since the one in Gibson County does not look as likely to be producing any severe weather, but if you're watching from anywhere along Highway 79 northeast of Milan, you've got some showers coming through. Paris, we have a thunderstorm there right now, so you'll be hearing occasionally some rumbles of thunder. Only one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes, but Mackenzie, again, the thunderstorms, mainly saying to your northeast and to your southwest, but you certainly have a very heavy shower heading into your way right now. Milan, Atwood, McLemoresville, as well as Tresvent, those areas in northwest Carroll County seeing some rain arrive at this moment. If you're watching from Carroll County, what can be a little bit deceptive is the fact that even though the southwest corner, only really Lavinia and other small communities in southwest Carroll County have been issued the tornado warning, you might be hearing sirens across the entire county because many counties will have that happen where no matter where in the county the tornado is, sirens will sound countywide. Uh, so that's usually protocol for many local emergency management agencies. And Please contact me if, if that's incorrect, but I believe that's the case. So for the city of Milan, while a tornado warning is still in effect, at least for the next four minutes, uh, this thunderstorm seems to be weakening. We'll continue to see if it tries to recycle and tries to redevelop this evening. But as of right now, uh, we don't actually have a lot of reports besides just pictures of funnel clouds and wall clouds coming out of West Tennessee. So no reports of damage right now uh, in that area. So we'll be continuing to see if there are any that we missed or any that maybe show up on social media, which, of course, I'll try to gather those for you and bring those for you at 6 o'clock on ABC. and. Of course, on uh, CBS at 630 as well. Let me join you again for another local newscast. Uh, but ultimately, these thunderstorms, again, still might try to redevelop this evening. Um, these thunderstorms have basically a very unstable atmosphere. Despite all the rain that we had earlier on in the day, we might still see some redevelopment this evening. And I'm seeing that happen exactly over parts of the middle fork of the Fork of Deer River in your Brazil, right there on the western side of Gibson County. It doesn't look like much right now. It looks very tame but it certainly could become uh, strong or severe very soon since this atmosphere is kind of like, uh, like a soda bottle that you would shake up. As long as that top stays on, you don't have anything happen, but if the top were to come off, then you certainly could have a strong or severe thunderstorm. And that's what's happening over parts of uh, Southwest Tennessee and Shelby and Fayette County is briefly happened just north of Trenton. So we'll hope that no damage was reported, but uh, we'll try to see if anything comes out uh, there of different parts of West Tennessee. So we have many different areas. Uh, of course, people, I'm just seeing a lot of folks that are commenting on um, a bit of the nature of this thunderstorm that issued or elicited the uh, uh, tornado warning. So right now, what we can tell you is that we have not received reports of damage. Storms weakening. Tornado warning will expire in two minutes. We'll be joining you at 6 o'clock on ABC and again at CBS at 630 as long as no other tornado warnings are issued for the area. But that tornado warning is going to be expiring in a, about a minute uh, and a half now. And the main concern, again, going forward for the rest of the night is going to be for at least, I would say, the next three to four hours for us to see one or two thunderstorms 
like we've seen here, uh, become strong or severe, just like the one that has moved through Gibson County. So I see a lot of, I, I've got a lot of photos. I have to say thank you to everybody who was taking photos tonight of this. Um, uh, if you were able to take them in a safe way, good job. Um, but for many of you in Gibson County, of course, I would recommend that if a tornado warning is ever issued, that you would just actually head inside. But I do appreciate you sharing that with me because that's at least given me information as to what uh, folks on the ground are seeing. Uh, in that corner of West Tennessee. So thunderstorm continues to weaken over Gibson County, but we're seeing some more redevelopment. Jackson, nothing imminent for us in Madison County right now, uh, but we will be watching the possibility for more thunderstorms to develop as we go into the really the next three hours. That's, that's the window of time that I'm most concerned with, even though we will have a chance still for more rain to fall overnight tonight into the start of the day tomorrow. And again, one last time, one of the things that I will be showing you coming up uh, in these next uh, two half hour newscast is just reviewing some of the photos that were sent in so that I can clarify what we were doing on air and what we were watching this evening on whether one you saw that we had a wall cloud develop a thunderstorm that produced some rotation. So we'll continue to track these thunderstorms for you this evening and we'll keep you safe. We'll keep you updated uh, in the storm team weather center. So join us right now on ABC for that. Now from West Tennessee's news channel. This is seven eyewitness news at six. Showers and thunderstorms are making their way across West Tennessee this evening. Chief Meteorologist Tom Miners is live in the Storm Team Weather Center to show us if more storms are heading our way. Tom? Yeah, that's right, Brad and Ariana. This is a look at the Storm Tracker 7 Max radar right now, where a tornado warning had been issued for parts of Gibson County, as well as other corners of West Tennessee, like Carroll, Madison, and even Crockett County, up until 6 o'clock. So that just expired. But I will be wanting to tell you a little bit more about what we were tracking this evening as we'll walk you through this forecast uh, hour by hour here. Now, the main concern for any thunderstorms for the rest of tonight is going to be the possibility for some strong winds. But there is a small chance that thunderstorms could start to rotate and could even produce a uh, severe thunderstorm that ends up creating a tornado. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Weather One computer, and I'm going to walk you through this forecast, mainly highlighting, again, that thunderstorm that moved through parts of Gibson County. We've been watching a lot of different corners of West Tennessee, but most recently, that thunderstorm that came through, and it still showers that are entering parts of McKenzie as well as Paris, Again, these have been producing some very heavy rainfall at times tonight. And in this case, just recently, it seemed likely that there was a uh, possible rotating thunderstorm that may have even been producing a tornado. One of the photos, and I have a lot more that I still have left to gather for you, uh, was actually uh, very ominous looking. We're going to show that in a minute. But this is a look basically at the severe weather risk for the rest of the night. Still low risk, but it's not zero. So it's not completely off the chart. Large hail and damaging winds and even localized flooding, some of the main concerns. This is what it looked like in Trenton just moments ago as that thunderstorm was rotating over Gibson County. Uh, so these could still continue to develop even later tonight. We're watching for scattered thunderstorms and gusty winds in these cells that will be cropping up throughout the evening. And rain chances will slowly diminish as we start to head into the weekend, thankfully. But only to return next week when tropical, now depression, then storm Cristobal could impact the, West, uh, the United States and even West Tennessee, making landfall on the Gulf Coast this weekend. We'll take a close look at that thunderstorm uh, for you, though. Still in Gibson County and much more in just a moment. For now, Brad, Ariana, back to you. Well, nearly 60 years after leaving college, a New York man finally graduates. Are not going to break. I repeat, we are not going to break because a new tornado warning has just been issued for West Tennessee. This is going to include Carroll County as well as Gibson and Henderson at least until 6.45 p.m. And this is the reason why we have a new tornado warning for this particular cell that's now between Tresvin and Milan. It's moving to the east southeast towards Clarksburg, Wildersville, and Cedar Grove. So you can see the different areas that are at least in that tornado warning. And the main thing is here is not because we're confident that a tornado necessarily is touching down, but because it still has some weak rotation with it. And based on the pictures that we have been seeing tonight, we actually still continue to see the possibility for this tornado to drop down from this thunderstorm very quickly. So we're going to have a, a bit of a, a lead time, I guess, a, a pretty excessive lead time, actually, for a possible tornado that might be ending, ending up moving through parts of West Tennessee. So uh, here's a look at the thunderstorm itself. This is the one that's moving to the east southeast towards parts of Carroll County. If you're watching from anywhere uh, near parts of the Leach community, as well as north of Cedar Grove, because Cedar Grove is just barely on the very edge of that thunderstorm, or what was a thunderstorm. Uh, this is, again, moving to the east-southeast and 
based on the latest estimation from radar, this is moving east at 30 miles per hour. Meteorologist Corrales Ortiz has joined me in the Storm Team Weather Center so we can put a track on that for you to show you moving to the east-southeast. Uh, the wall cloud itself was very evident. While she's getting that ready for you, let me go ahead and show you a uh, picture on Weather One. This is a separate weather computer we have. It's actually going to indicate, that, again, that these thunderstorms have actually looked pretty mean tonight. Uh, this is a wall cloud. This is a pretty textbook picture of a wall cloud. You don't see anything that extends from the darkest part of the cloud to the ground. So at this point, we have not seen a lot of funnel clouds. So I have had some reports of some, but I haven't actually seen any pictures of them showing up in West Tennessee. But right now getting a report from ham radio operators that a wall cloud is still reported. So this exact look may still be showing up on Highway 104 near Milan looking north. So we'll go back to weather two here. Well, this is a look at the forecast path. I uh, want to put a track on that for you there as these thunderstorms are going to continue to move to the east southeast at about 30 miles per hour. So Clarksburg, Cedar Grove and pretty much anywhere along Highway 70 in Carroll County. Make sure that you get to the lowest floor of your home and into the center most part of your home as soon as possible because this possible tornado is heading in that direction. Basically near the Terry community about 626, Jumbo at 637, Clarksburg we're talking about 647 so not really for another 30 minutes and Parker's Crossroads 652, Wattlesville 655 dollar and uh, some other communities there showing up. If Corrales, you'll just drag that uh, text box a little bit higher up there. Uh, those thunderstorms, again, earlier tonight looked a lot more uh, severe or a lot stronger, I should say. Haven't had any lightning, though, with this particular cell in the last 10 minutes or so. So uh, right now, we just have the possibility for a tornado to quickly make its way down to the ground with that particular storm here uh, in the not too distant future. That was the dollar community there showing up at 704 as that storm continues to move to the east southeast. We'll go ahead and clear that off and we're going to take a closer look at some street level mapping to show you where if there is a tornado associated with this system where it's located right now. We're going to close in on the county line between Gibson and Carroll County. If you're watching from Atwood, you'd be very close to where this possible tornado is located. Um, more along though, State Route 220 Heading towards uh, Highway 220 there in western Carroll County is where we might have a ro uh, rotating wall cloud or a tornado uh, making its way through western Carroll County at the moment. So we're going to continue to focus our all attention on that. That seems to be the strongest storm in West Tennessee right now. Moving across Highway 220 uh, or State Route 220 at the moment, uh, that thunderstorm is again still worth watching. Um, Ultimately, again, West Tennessee, we've had a couple of these thunderstorms moving through the area. Uh, some of them have been producing at least some heavy rain, uh, but only one of these, at least so far, has actually produced any rotation. Uh, the thunderstorms earlier this evening actually did produce some funnel clouds across northwest Tennessee and Lake County. So I want you to take a look at some of the tips that we're going to show you here of what you should do if a tornado warning is issued for your area. Uh, again, this is the number one. This is the reason why it's at the top of the list, but stay away from windows. You want to be in the centermost part of your home and on the lowest floor as possible. Again, these thunderstorms are basically having the possibility to produce some strong winds, so you want to be as protected as possible, be in the innermost part of your home uh, that you certainly can. And also, staying away from any of those vehicles. Get, a, get out of a car. If you know anybody who's driving or who's in a car, at least in this part of Carroll County, that is not a safe place to be at all. You want to make sure that you are in a structure, and a mobile home would not be safe in that case either. So, latest update here, still showing a possibility for rotation. I see what I mentioned earlier this evening, a little bit of a hole here showing up just north of Whithorn and south of Atwood. Uh, what we call that is uh, basically this bounded weak echo region, so an area where there might be a very strong updraft, which is where that tornado would be located in this case. Let's take a look, though, at the uh, velocity corrals. We'll see if we have any uh, actually evidence that a, a tornado is on the ground here. I uh, don't really see a lot of strong signature for a lot of rotation. The radar site that we're accessing right now is located in Kentucky, uh, so the thunderstorm itself again, could be actually producing a tornado in this location since we've got indication that there's uh, these winds blowing in this direction and then winds blowing in this direction. So you've got this counterclockwise flow right here over Western Carroll County near State Route 220. Uh, so that storm's going to continue to pose a threat for the Terry community, which is just downstream, as well as Howler right on Highway 70, also near Leach and uh, 
Thousand Acre Recreation Lake in Carroll County too, just southwest of Huntington. Uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on any other storms right now. This one might be still producing a possibility for a tornado just on the western side of Carroll County. I'll zoom out Corrales and show all of West Tennessee because I want to do my due diligence at least and see if there are any other thunderstorms that have been developing lately. We have had some heavy rain show up across parts of northwestern uh, Carroll County near McKenzie and some thunderstorms still moving through parts of Paris. We'll look at all of West Tennessee and just look at reflectivity there to show you where it's raining. Uh, and recently, a new shower has started to develop just outside of Trenton too. So we'll keep an eye on that because the thunderstorm that ended up producing a tornado warning in Trenton popped off very quickly. Uh, the thunderstorms in Henry County and for the most part, Carroll County still remain uh, tame and they're still behaving themselves. But the one that again moved just north of Milan and came through areas just outside of Trenton. Again, this one actually did end up producing some uh, very sizable rotation with it. Some very tight couple at least earlier on this evening. Uh, we have had some pictures shown of wall clouds, of funnel clouds, just no reports of damage just yet. So we're staying with local programming for the moment. The National Weather Service continues to have a tornado warning in effect for parts of Lake County as well as northern Henderson County up until 645 this evening. Other than that, we really have mostly dry conditions around West Tennessee. If we could actually put this uh, graphic in motion, Corrales, I want to show our audience here that this thunderstorm has been moving to the east southeast. So Madison County, we were under a tornado warning earlier this evening, but we haven't even had any rain in the last few hours. This thunderstorm is mostly moving to the east southeast towards northern Henderson County. We'll have to keep an eye on this cell just west of Milan, though, which may end up moving maybe a little bit closer to Spring Creek and Oakfield in northeastern Madison County. But for the moment, again, still not concerned with anything else other than that one cell, which even isn't a thunderstorm right now. But we'll go ahead and look at the latest image. Let me update you on the areas that I want to take their tornado precautions right now across parts of West Tennessee, namely in Carroll and Henderson County, and we'll zoom in on that tornado warning for you too. So this warning is in effect until 645, only moving to the east-southeast at about 30 miles per hour. It's not even a thunderstorm right now. We've got heavy rain falling just south of McAmoresville. Pretty much if you live between Highway 79 and Highway 70 in Carroll County, that's the cell that has uh, caused the tornado warning to be issued for your area. So those thunderstorms that we had in Gibson County, while well, they've weakened, they might still be producing a tornado, even though we haven't had a lot of lightning with this cell most recently. Certainly has some very heavy rain falling, and that shower again could continue to move towards Clarksburg. So Clarksburg, Cedar Grove, Wildersville, in northern parts of Henderson County. I'll keep an eye. See, we'll have to get a I'll have to get a repeat on that. that. This cell, again, might end up impacting the Timberlake community north of Lexington, but that's still a long ways away. And it seems like these storms have been continuing to pass a little bit more to the east. Kraus, I'm curious if you're actually seeing any reports or updates from the National Weather Service so yes. far this evening. I actually wanted to let you know they had sent in a photo earlier from Real Foot Lake, what looks like to be a funnel. Um, I just wanted to kind of bring that up as we can. Um, but like you mentioned earlier that they had reports of possibly seeing some weak rotation over near Highway 104 in Milan looking north, but they did kind of uh, submit right now of what possibly looks like a funnel over Real Foot Lake. Uh, so that's just something I did see so far in terms of uh, what they have updated us so far, Tom. Yeah, so far, Kraus, you know, we haven't had any reports of damage. Um, we have been getting a lot of different photos and even videos from people all over West Tennessee. So we're getting a lot of reports of what people are seeing. But so far, I still have not seen anything to the effect of at least um, any uh, damage being uh, caused by any of these thunderstorms moving through the area. So that's good so far. And the National Weather Service, when they issued the warning, they even sent us a message that said they weren't confident that there was a tornado actually on the ground. But because this could happen very quickly, they wanted to provide a sufficient lead time on the possibility for a tornado with this particular shower that's moving through Carroll County. You just saw the latest radar scan come through, updating that there's some very heavy rain falling between Highway 70 and Highway 79 in Carroll County. This is, again, the main area that's under this possibility for a tornado. The National Weather Service is canceling that tornado warning for Gibson County. So you'll see here that Milan's no longer included in it. Although if you are watching from Milan, there is going to be some shower activity returning very soon, which is located just southeast of Trenton. Uh, but Carroll County 
and Henderson counties. Now the only two spots still included in the tornado warning until 645 for this particular shower that's moving east southeast towards Clarksburg and staying so far north of Cedar Grove. Though if you live north of Cedar Grove, in fact, if you know where the water tower is, that's on Highway 70 by the Dollar General there. That is basically where the cutoff is for the tornado warning for the actual polygon there for that tornado warning. So right by the water tower, uh, right by the Dollar General there, just outside of Cedar Grove or on the north side of Cedar Grove. If we come up towards Scott Hill, though, not Scott's Hill. This is in Carroll County here near Jumbo, as well as Howley and Leach, those communities in Carroll County. Those are the ones that are, again, at most at risk. Huntingdon is not in the tornado warning. So I'll just repeat that, too. Uh, for the most populated area in Carroll County, Huntingdon, we actually do not have a tornado warning for your area, though you do have some showers coming into your neck of the woods uh, very soon. It's just for really this rural part of Carroll County near Highway 70 and just south of Highway 79 uh, that we actually have the possibility for a tornado right now. Still radar indicated. We've got lots of pictures and videos that were sent in of uh, funnel clouds and water clouds which are precursors and actually really just the step behind a tornado making its touchdown uh, so that's the reason why again we're cutting into local programming which is our newscast here on ABC and uh, likely continuing it seems at this point even through 640 up until 645 uh, for this possible tornado uh, this latest scan still not showing too much and I'll be curious, Corrales, if you can actually show us if we have anything new showing up on our rotation or the product that shows us velocity here. Very weak, but it is still there. It's right over Whithorn right now. Was, yeah, I'm actually glad that you're doing that. If we could jog around and see a different radar perspective here. This is Paducah. That's Fort Campbell, uh, just west of Bowling Green. So we're seeing some upper level winds that are very strong, at least in the atmosphere. Uh, but this one, this particular view right here from the National Weather Service radar site in Paducah certainly was showing that we've got these mixing of the green and red. That shows you where we might have that rotation right now. Just basically right where those two colors meet, just east of Whithorn, a very rural part of Carroll County. This is still far west of, uh, actually, they're very far west of parts of Highway 70. Uh, so let's zoom in. If Corrales, we can keep on the velocity product here and let's zoom in and we, I want to take a look at the streets that are actually within that particular view right now. So there's Terry. There's the Terry community. There's Highway 104 North. Uh, you got, or excuse me, Highway 104 West. You got Highway 220 here. So Highway 104 West, just north of Highway 104 West and east of Highway 220 is where we possibly have a tornado right now. That's at least the location for where the rotation is taking place. So if you're in the Terry community, you have to be in the lowest floor of your home, in the centermost room, a bathroom, hallway, or a closet. And if a basement is available, that would, of course, be the best option for you or in a storm shelter, too. Uh, either one of those would be a good option for you in this case. Uh, this thunderstorm, again, may still be producing a tornado. We don't have confirmation that it is or it isn't, but this is a very rural part of Carroll County, so I don't expect that we're going to get much in terms of any reports uh, anytime soon right now. Milan Highway, I have a picture that I'm going to share with you in a little bit of actually what we are watching from parts of uh, the Milan Highway. So farther west in Gibson County, we are getting a visual on this particular cell right now. This is at least uh, what we have here is this radar tool that shows us we've got rotation clearly heading for the Terry community, heading for Leach, heading for uh, Howley, heading for Highway 70 southwest of Huntingdon. Let's go ahead and zoom out though, Corrales, and we'll look at the reflectivity once again to get a quick update on the rest of the thunderstorms in West Tennessee, if there are any, because again, these thunderstorms have been few and far between. The showers themselves can still have some rotation with them. You don't have to have lightning for a tornado to be dropping down. Uh, so right now, the only showers we've got are in Henry County, as well as Carroll and Gibson County. Got a severe thunderstorm warning over parts of Sh uh, Shelby and Fayette County as well. Uh, so those spots, again, still looking at the possibility, at least for some heavy rainfall, but only really one lightning strike in West Tennessee in just the last 10 minutes. So there's not a lot of evidence for a lot of strong updrafts here so far this evening. There's a look in motion that that thunderstorm that was in Gibson County has made its way now into Carroll County and is going to continue to push towards the Henderson and the uh, Carroll County line. So the one that just popped up in parts of Gibson County, might as well go ahead and do our due diligence there as well and just see if there's anything rotating Corrales just south of Trenton and north of Medina and heading in towards Milan too. Getting some more updates here also on the uh, tornado warning, which is going to continue at least until 645 and also a severe thunderstorm warning in Fayette County. So this is the shell that just popped up just west of Milan. Just 
going to go ahead and see if we can see any rotation there, Corrales. If we we'll look at the velocity, I'll see the storm relative velocity, either one of those. Not really as much. Certainly still have some uh, features on the cell that's moving through Western Carroll County that leads me to believe that we at least have a wall cloud, which was the precursor to having a tornado drop next. Uh, if we still have it available, I'd like to actually show you that picture on Weather One once again, because this is what the view might actually look like over Western Carroll County right now. This picture was sent in just after 530 from Chris Parham in Trenton, and this is a wall cloud. Basically, you've got the features here that all show a rotating thunderstorm. And at any one of the points here, underneath that wall cloud could become a funnel cloud, which then touches down and becomes a tornado. That's a little bit of a tornado genesis there for you. But this is the wall cloud that we could also still be seeing right now over Western Carroll County, mainly between Highway 79 and Highway 70. So I just wanted you to have a visual, at least, even though we don't have a live picture of a wall cloud right now, and I still have not received any photos from Carroll County yet. Um, that's an idea for what we could be watching, at least in the sky, over Western Carroll County right now. Although, again, organization for the rotation on this particular cell is very weak. I don't see a likely chance for a tornado right now. So that's at least any good news that I can at least uh, help bring to you here. I am seeing a couple of uh, social media photos, though, still from Milan facing east into Carroll County of this cell. And it still shows the same kind of picture I just showed you earlier. So over the Terry community right now, north of Highway 104 West in Carroll County, west of Highway 70 and west of the Howley community is where a possible tornado is located at this time. But uh, it's radar indicated rotation and the rotation that we see is still very weak. Uh, since we're here though in this close up view, before we jump to the next uh, stage, let's go ahead and look at correlation coefficient corrals. This is what we call our tornado debris signature and uh, we're not really seeing that signature here. We would be looking for a very fine blue dot. You see all these individual pixels, one of them would be a deep blue, and uh, that would be if we actually had a tornado on the ground doing damage, and that's not what we see here. So, again, very low confidence now that a tornado is still on the ground moving through Carroll County, but the picture that we saw earlier still uh, resolves that we might have one briefly touched down in western Carroll County. So stay in your safe place if you're watching from south uh, Carroll County or from north Henderson County. I haven't seen any rain arrive across the county line yet. Clarksburg is the main area next in line. After this cell crosses over Highway 70, Clarksburg will be the next storm, uh, next city to be hit by this storm that's heading in a little bit closer towards parts of southeastern uh, parts of uh, Benton County, southwestern Benton County, I should say, and eventually par perhaps even into northwestern Decatur County. But right now we're watching the communities you see listed here, Clarksburg 652, so really the next 20 minutes, 19 to be exact, Parker's Crossroads 659 for the arrival of that cell, and 701 in Wildersville. That's an idea for where and when this cell is supposed to be. It's not even a thunderstorm right now. It has not been producing any thunder or lightning that we've been able to pick up on here on our scopes in the Storm Team Weather Center, except for that one strike that uh, just decided to make uh, me make a mistake there. So that's one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes, perhaps even the last 30 minutes that we have seen with that cell moving through uh, Southern Carroll County. Not a lot. It could be indicating that it's about to get a little bit stronger again and might recycle, might start to produce more lightning and perhaps even some small hail. Uh, but that's the cell that is in question. You see the other one that just popped up that's heading in towards Milan right now is two. Uh, this one is going to be coming back into Milan, not severe. It doesn't even seem to be producing any hail. Uh, it's a relatively weak cell that's moving into Milan now. And again, there's only one lightning strike that's been showing up recently. And Jackson, so far, if you're watching from Madison County, we're still pretty clear, actually, in terms of rainfall. We have some blue sky showing up in some spots, but this is the main event right now of all the showers and thunderstorms in West Tennessee. This is the only one that's the main concern for the WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News viewing area, and it's going to continue to push off to the south and east at roughly 30 miles per hour. Not moving very fast at all tonight. Uh, 30 mile per hour speed limit through parts of northeastern uh, Madison County. That gives you an idea for uh, at least on Highway 70. That gives you an idea for what we're talking about in terms of the overall pace of this thunderstorm as it's continuing to approach Clarksburg and also Wildersville. I'm glad you actually panned a little bit farther north, Corrales, though, because I do want to point out that if you're watching from northern Benton County, your Big Sandy, we do have a line of thunderstorms coming your way. That lightning count has picked up quite a bit just recently over the last several scans on radar there. But other than that, there's no other lightning showing up in Carroll County with the exception of that one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes over southwestern Carroll County near Cedar Grove. And if we just zoom out one more 
uh, at click there. We could actually take a look at uh, at least the rest of West Tennessee just to see what's been going on uh, with the other thunderstorms or other showers in the area. Still the severe thunderstorm warning in effect for southern Fayette County. Some storms developed near parts of Memphis as well. But just a couple of pockets of rain really. And again, even though they're just a few tame showers in some spots, we could still see a tornado touchdown given the environment that we've got in West Tennessee this evening, which still has just a very slim amount of ingredients for us to see a possible tornado here. So still no confirmed tornado, no confirmed touchdown. No damage reported into the Storm Team Weather Center just yet. I just got a photo uh, on Facebook watching from Lavinia and Spring Creek. So pretty close to the Carroll and Madison County line. And it still really just looks like uh, whatever wall cloud may have been there, if that picture is from that location, is, is really starting to get torn apart here. I don't see a lot of uh, evidence for a tornado right now, other than what we have seen earlier, which was in Trenton, a very powerful picture of a wall cloud moving through the city of Trenton. Uh, it's a good thing the National Weather Service did issue that tornado warning, even uh, though we may not have a tornado actually touch down. It was a very ominous picture there. So over Carroll County, one more time, we're going to look here at this close-up view as we've got nine more minutes left on the expiration time for this tornado warning that's in effect for parts of Southern Carroll as well as also Northern Henderson County and uh, just looking at a couple other reports to see if I see anything else. Corrales, I wouldn't suppose actually if you have you received any other information by the way anything else that you're seeing perhaps from the National Weather Service or for reports on Facebook perhaps or Twitter anything coming out into the uh, weather center that you're noticing? Yeah, I do not have any new updates right now. They haven't said anything as of 630. Um, at least for this particular one. I mean, it was issued at 625 for this tornado warning. Since then, we haven't gotten any new updates. So it's just something to keep an eye out. Like you said, we probably still have roughly eight minutes left on this warning. And in terms of what we've been seeing so far, social media, no new updates besides what you were sent earlier with, of course, the report of that uh, uh, wall cloud and everything. So as of now, no new updates, but of course, I'm going to keep an eye out to see if they have any new updates. Yeah, the National Weather Service has said also that they've seen the same photos that we've been seeing too. That was one of the reasons actually why they ended up continuing this tornado warning or issuing a new tornado warning for Carroll and Henderson counties. Uh, based on the pictures, it has basically been a textbook picture of what a tornado could look like just before the tornado develops or really what a wall cloud looks like that could end up producing a tornado. That was on Weather One. We were showing you that picture of the wall cloud that showed up over parts of Trenton. Again, just southeast of Trenton near Milan, we still have some showers, but that picture if we still have it available on weather one yeah this was very ominous picture there this is uh you want to have a tornado warning issued if you see this for sure because it's easily uh conceivable that a tornado could quickly be produced by a cloud that looks like this this is called a wall cloud and it was a rotating system even though this is just a picture uh, we saw some video showing the uh, cloud itself actually rotating so a clear picture that a tornado could be produced by a cloud that looks like that well, I'm seeing another photo here from Highway 104 West, four miles south of Terry. Let's actually go there, Corral. So if we could take a look at Howley. I want to look at the Howley community here on Highway 70. There's Terry, and there's a look at Velocity, too. Very weak evidence of rotation within this thunderstorm, which has only produced one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes. Pictures being sent in still seem to show a little bit of a wall cloud, like you saw in that picture just a minute ago. Um, but at the moment, very little rotation ongoing within this particular cell. It will be moving into an environment that more recently dealt with rain, so the energy might not be as sufficient to keep this going for much longer. We'll hope that's the case. But if there is a tornado associated with this particular cell, it would be close to Highway 70 right now between Howley and Leach. You see on Highway 70, and Leach is very close to uh, Carroll County, Thousand Acre, uh, or the Thousand Acre Recreational Lake in Carroll County. Huntington is not included in the tornado warning. Uh, they've never been included in this tornado warning right now. Uh, so this is mainly for southwestern Carroll County, right around the Howley community, Terry community, Scott Hill, Jumbo. And there's Highway 424, so north of Highway 424 in southern Carroll County and right outside of Howley and Leach on Highway 70. This is the area that could be dealing with a tornado right now. Uh, since we're here, though, and we've really only got about five more minutes to cover this possible tornado, let's go ahead and put a track on it, Corrales, and we'll, again, estimate this is moving only to the east-southeast at about 30 miles per hour not very quickly it's a very slow pace for a thunderstorm like this one to be making its way through west tennessee uh, most times we have tornado warnings we're usually saying 50 60 mile per hour speeds on the actual storm itself but this is a very slow moving storm so scott hill not scott's hill 
two separate places. We've got one that's on the Decatur and Henderson County line. That's not the one we're talking about here. We're talking about this small community of Scott Hill, just southeast of Leach. Clarksburg, also you see that on the list, 653, the estimated time of arrival for this particular thunderstorm or what has been occasionally producing lightning in West Tennessee. So 653 Westport, 701, 708 for the dollar community, which is on the southeast side of Carroll County, too. It doesn't seem likely now that Wildersville is going to be as a great concern. Many times local emergency managers will have to sound the uh, tornado sirens for the entire county. That's, I believe, usually the protocol, at least and not just for one specific area in the polygon. So you might still be hearing tornado sirens in Lexington or in Sardis. I uh, believe those are the two that are in Henderson County. But ultimately, this storm seems to be more on an east path than it is on an east-southeastward path. Uh, we'll continue to see if there are any updates as we continue to track that storm for you, though, even as we're entering our CBS newscast, which I believe will be taking place as scheduled in four minutes. Myland still have a heavy shower there. We've also had some thunderstorms as we'll just want to go ahead and update our viewers there on that corral over parts of Henry County. Entering Benton County, too, Big Sandy. You know, we saw a lot of lightning starting to pop off of that thunderstorm entering northern Benton County right near Eva. So if you're watching from Big Sandy or northern Benton County, you can see here right over parts of northwest Tennessee, we still have some frequent lightning and we certainly still have some very heavy rainfall, but no other indications of any uh, rotation going on with any of these other cells. We can turn on the velocity corrals, if you don't mind here briefly, just to see that this is the only cell that seemed to have been producing some weak rotation right now in Carroll County. Other than that, not really a lot of evidence for any other storms that might actually have some consistent rotation. This one was the only one that has, again, produced this tornado warning. And we'll continue to follow it for the next three and a half minutes. The tornado warning uh, for the cell in Carroll County, we're going to continue it um, to be on the safe side. I'm guessing, I'm not sure the National Weather Service is relaying a message to us uh, with the chat room that we have access to with them. But uh, I'm not sure if that means they're going to let it expire at 645 or they're issuing a new tornado warning. Uh, so I'm just going to ask them that here real quick um, because we'll want to know. We'll want to know if that means that um, they'll be issuing another warnings to, to continue our coverage or not. Kraus, what else have you seen, by the way? I know that you've been watching social media to see if we had any new reports, um, but we have not really seen a lot because this is a very rural part of Southern Carroll County. A little bit difficult to see some. I have had some very faithful viewers, though, share some photos, so I thank them for sharing uh, what they're seeing. But what are you seeing on your end? Uh, no, you're right. Uh, we haven't had a lot of photos besides of what they have been seeing outside. Like you mentioned, a lot of this is in rural areas, so a lot of people might not be seeing this. Um, people were uh, just sending us just notifications of what they're seeing. Um, but otherwise, I think the best, one of the best photos that we've been showing a lot is that that was earlier, that photo earlier in Trenton of that wall cloud. But no, we have not gotten any new reports in terms of uh, what's been shown. Just. Um, Currently, we're only seeing uh, just photos of the storm uh, right. moving and, through uh, in terms of it and the Carroll County and everything. Right, so yes. we have had a new tornado warning be issued for West Tennessee. Uh, this is for that cell, the same cell that we've been tracking this evening. A new tornado warning has been issued now until 7.15 for parts of Benton, Carroll, Decatur, and Henderson counties. And this is basically still tracking that same cell. Hasn't been producing much lightning. Just recently, a new lightning strike showed up just outside of Clarksburg. Uh, so this cell continues to make its approach towards parts of southwestern Benton County, as well as northwestern Decatur County and northeastern parts of Henderson County. That'll be very close to Natchez Trace State Park if it continues on that path of the east-southeast. So right over parts of Jumbo, Scott Hill, and east of Howley, most of this thunderstorm is now east of Highway 70 and is going to continue on that path to the east-southeast uh, and eventually continue to push its way into Clarksburg, which has just now started to see some heavy rainfall with that. Um, ultimately, again, the thunderstorm is moving only at 30 miles per hour, so not very quickly. Uh, but for other parts of West Tennessee that have not been under a tornado warning, now Benton and also parts of Decatur County have been added to a tornado warning. So we've had multiple counties be a part of a tornado warning this evening, but those two are brand new. So if you're watching from Clarksburg, if you're watching from Yuma, if you're watching from Westport or Dollar in southeastern Carroll County, this storm is of utmost importance for your neck of the woods here. Uh, so if we could actually still have those available, I do want to uh, basically give you an update on some of the tornado tips that uh, we're following with this thunderstorm that's continuing to pass east-southeast through southern Carroll County. Again, possibly 
possible tornado here. We've had some pictures of uh, wall clouds here, so stay away from windows because we might have a tornado. It's possible that there could just be a wall cloud here and might actually not be doing any damage. But in case there is, go to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor. If you have a basement or storm shelter available, of course, those are the safest places to be. And if not, you want to be in a bathroom, hallway, or a closet. Grab a helmet and shoes, too, because if there is damage, you don't want to have your... Um, uh, your feet exposed to broken glass and one of the most common injuries during a tornado is actually trauma to the head. Uh, so grabbing a helmet will help protect your head. If there's a tornado, you can certainly have at least 65 mile per hour winds with it and even some of the weakest tornadoes. Abandoned cars and mobile homes and Steve Sturdy Shelter too. Just some of the main tips I want to relate to you anytime we have possible tornado. So the thunderstorm that continues to move to the east-southeast, again, this one still, they're issuing this tornado warning because of the photos that have been sent in from our viewers. We'll show you another one. Again, this one was sent in from Trenton and from Gibson County earlier this evening, uh, but this thunderstorm still may actually look like this. This was on Weather One. We'll show you the view from Trenton, and we're continuing to get some pictures from parts of Carroll County, um, seeing a little bit even of some reports of some hail from a thunderstorm that might even still look like this over to southern Carroll County as it's continuing to approach parts of Benton and uh, I'm going to need to re repeat on that. Starting to come in some, through some uh, Brook. Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at radar data. We're going to go ahead and look at velocity here. This is basically showing you very weak rotation going on, still over jumbo. And these purple colors, this is actually indicating where the data is actually starting to fall apart now. And so it's, it's not as reliable with this view this far away from the radar site. But right over just south of Scott Hill and northeast of jumbo, only one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes here. And so ultimately, this is the potential area that might still be dealing with a possible tornado. Highway 424 is basically the location for where this tornado could be. It would be just barely along or north of Highway 24, 424 excuse me, in southern Carroll County. And it's moving to the east southeast at about 30 miles per hour. Very slow moving storm. Getting some more uh, videos here. And this is from Cedar Grove that I'm watching. And what I'm watching here on the screen is basically the same kind of picture I just saw out of Gibson County that we showed you on air here. So the same kind of thunderstorm that probably still has a wall cloud associated with it within all of this shower activity is continuing to move towards Clarksburg, Wildersville, eventually toward Holiday, toward Dollar, Yuma, those communities in southeastern Carroll County, and eventually perhaps into northwestern Decatur County, although Parsons and Decaturville are not in the tornado warning uh, right now. It's only including northwestern and very rural parts of Decatur County, just east of Natchez Trace State Park, as a matter of fact. So Clarksburg, Westport, those are two communities that you can see included on this uh, basically forecast uh, over time here. This is going to give you an idea for where this thunderstorm will be and when in four minutes is when the center of that thunderstorm will be right on top of Clarksburg, Westport, southeastern part of Carroll County. It will be eventually coming through there as well. Um, and ultimately, the picture that, again, what I want to depict here for you is that it's not terribly likely for a tornado to still be on the ground because of how weak the picture still is that we're getting, at least, from radar. Based on what we are seeing, we haven't seen a lot of reports of, well, we haven't seen any reports of damage, but we haven't seen any evidence on radar that there's actually damage being produced by this particular thunderstorm either. So this thunderstorm, again, still moving towards northwestern Decatur County, southwestern Benton County, northeastern parts of Henderson County. Uh, this is, again, that cell that issued the tornado warning in Gibson County at about 530. Uh, your thunderstorm uh, path, again, still moving to the east-southeast at about 30 miles per hour. Ultimately, this cell, again, still has the possibility to produce a tornado. It doesn't look terribly likely at this point, uh, but it's something that we'll continue to keep a close watch on. And the National Weather Service has said that they issued this new warning uh, mainly for the part of uh, basically the uh, history of producing funnel clouds in Lake County and the wall cloud that we saw in parts of Gibson County too. So the rest of West Tennessee, it's fairly quiet this evening. We do have some frequent lightning occurring with thunderstorms in Big Sandy right now in northern Benton County and Camden. If you're watching from there in Benton County, we still have some heavy rain that's heading in your way. Uh, other than that, Showers, again, still continuing over the Milan community, which was in the tornado warning earlier, but is no longer. No part of Gibson, Madison County are included in any tornado warnings right now. And other than that, again, it's still a very tame thunderstorm activity around the rest of West Tennessee. Southwest Tennessee had a possible tornado there, severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, so that's it. So Clarksburg mainly just dealing with heavy rain right now. There's been one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes, and ultimately that storm going to continue to push towards northern parts of Decatur County. Uh, this tornado warning is set to expire at 7.15, and we've got no new updates here from the storm 
uh, or from the National Weather Service here. The National Weather Service is just issuing what's called significant weather advisory, so no other warnings issued for the rest of West Tennessee at this time. And this storm is again only producing one lightning strike. If we could take a closer look, Corrales, I want to see if we got um, any kind of uh, debris being detected within this cell. Uh, we'll continue to try to stay vigilant here for you so we can look at all aspects of the storm. And a very cluttered image leads me to believe that there's no debris being detected within the storm near Clarksburg. Uh, so right now, so far, still looking unlikely that a tornado is on the ground with this cell. Uh, very weak velocity picture here showing any weak returns of any rotation going on. Also south of Huntingdon. Uh, just want to reiterate again, Huntingdon is not included in the tornado warning. This is just for Southern Carroll County, mainly east of Highway 70, and right now coming close to State Route or Highway 22, I should say. So that's Highway 22 near Clarksburg is where this cell continues to move to the east southeast. Uh, so the thunderstorm is going to continue to push off towards parts of eventually northwestern uh, parts of Decatur County and southwestern Benton County too. But just a picture right now, it's just, just showing heavy rain. That's all I'm seeing right now with the cell. It's making its way through Clarksburg, Holiday, Wildersville. Again, still also part of the area I would say needs to take their tornado precautions and northeastern parts of Henderson County. If you know anybody who's at Natchez Trace State Park, please let them know. Um, I know cell signal might be a little bit difficult or hard to reach out there, but folks in Natchez Trace State Park certainly want to be made aware of a possible tornado that is making its way towards that area. And it's mainly on the northern side so um, or excuse me on the southern side of Natchez T Trey State Park uh, where we still have a possible again tornado as it's making its way through that area so we have Interstate 40 where you have the exit off of uh, where it goes to Natchez Trey State Park I'm watching the area just to the north and south of Interstate 40 there for the possibility for a tornado near Natchez Trey State Park in Carroll County no updates though from the National Weather Service that we see uh, Krause have you seen anything new on social media we've got a couple of different visuals here sent in we got very few pictures showing any phone clouds anymore, but still some wall clouds. Yeah, mainly no major updates. I'm actually checking to see uh, people have been sending us some messages. A lot of that has been the same, what they've been sending us in. Um, somebody sent me a photo of that particular storm that was in Lavinia. Uh, around Highway 220 south moving towards Clarksburg. So right around where it's centered, the storm. That's what they mainly have been sending. Um, have you gotten any new updates on your end right now? Uh, I got one report actually from someone who I believe is, I'm thinking I'm seeing the right con connection here. Um, he actually operates out of Madison County, but he was traveling with this storm on Highway 78 between the UT Ag Research Center in Milan um, and also into Western Carroll County. He still had a visual of that wall cloud earlier this evening. And again, this is where that wall cloud would be located now, basically right on top of Clarksburg, only producing one lightning strike in the last 10 minutes, but it's continuing to move to the east, southeast towards Holiday and north of uh, Wildersville near Parker's Crossroads in the northern parts of Henderson County. Uh, so right now, again, we don't have a lot of evidence of right now that the wall cloud is even still there and no evidence that there's a tornado there. Uh, this is just a radar indicated tornado warning. So there's been no evidence whatsoever that a tornado was actually touched down this evening. But we've got pictures, lots of videos being sent into the clouds showing us the wall cloud that was over parts of Gibson and eventually moved into western Carroll County earlier this evening. So we're just trying to our best to basically parse social media and any reports from local law enforcement or emergency management as they're seeing anything in uh, that part of West Tennessee either. But so far, it's uh, pretty much just crickets out there. And uh, we'll hope that this thunderstorm is not producing a tornado still uh, because it, at this point still looks unlikely. It's only basically just been producing some rain. Other than that, unlikely that it's been producing a tornado. But Clarksburg, stay in your safe place for now. Wildersville continues to stay in your safe location. Holiday 2 and northeastern parts of Henderson County remain in the uh, safest place you have in your home. That might be a bathroom or a hallway or a closet. If you have a storm shelter, of course, um, and that would be best, but most in West Tennessee don't have that available. Um, so we'll continue to see if there are any more updates here uh, for the National Weather Service's issuance of this tornado warning in Carroll County. And again, this is the only warning that's left in West Tennessee. There were still a severe thunderstorm warning in Fayette County, but of 
course, with respect to our viewing area, we're only seeing some showers right now over western Carroll County and also over northern Benton County that are still producing some frequent lightning near Big Sandy and heading into the Eva community, too, just north of Camden there on Highway 641. Uh, so the showers, again, going to continue to push the east-southeast. And I still will be watching for maybe even the next two hours or so, two to three hours, for us to see a possibility for any redevelopment because it's been very quiet in the Jackson area lately this evening with respect to weather. I don't really see any imminent redevelopment, but just like we saw in parts of Gibson County earlier, we certainly could have a shower or a thunderstorm redevelop in West Tennessee later over the next two to three hours. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that for you. Clarksburg, still the area of influence, though. Huntington, Brewston, Tresvin, Cedar Grove, not in the tornado warning. Nor neither is McKenzie. If you're watching from Parker's Crossroads, of course, you're very close to where this possible tornado is located now. But right now, it's just raining over parts of Clarksburg. Not even any lightning in the last 10 minutes there. Uh, so we'll continue to see if we can see any restrengthening. If we do see any restrengthening, we'll, of course, um, see a little bit more sense of urgency with that cell. And I am kind of curious, Corrales, if you can do a slice on that storm. We were watching it get up to 40,000 feet earlier this evening. But if you can draw just a vertical cut through that system, I would be kind of interested to know how tall it is. Uh, these thunderstorms have been coming up to 40,000 feet at times. Now they're about half that, about 20,000 feet. So still another indication that the threat for a tornado with this particular cell is rather low. It's pretty unlikely that we would still have any rotation going on of uh, basically over parts of Southern Carroll County. Um, and uh, other than that, again, it's just been raining over parts of Southern Carroll County near Clarksburg, Wildersville, Parker's Crossroads. Uh, so those are the showers that are gonna continue to move through parts of West Tennessee. Um, and National Weather Service said they're going to, going to continue to keep the tornado warning going for a bit. Um, they didn't really give any reasoning for that, um, so I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll defer to our production department for what we're going to do next in terms of covering this possible tornado with the tornado warning still in effect for parts of Carroll County here and uh, eventually also perhaps pushing into northeastern parts of Henderson and southwestern parts of Benton County. Velocity showing a very cluttered picture right now. Uh, there's a lot of what's called range folding, so we don't have all the evidence we need here to say that there's definitely not a tornado on the ground. What we see is very weak rotation that shows there still could be. It's just unlikely that there would still be a tornado associated with that particular cell as it's making its way through West Tennessee. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that and see if the rotation starts to change, if it starts to tighten up again. Uh, it has been rather weak for a while now. I have not seen any other indication that we actually still had any rotation that... Uh all right, so National Weather Service actually is now saying that on Leach Road, they have a report of a touchdown. They didn't actually give any information for where they got that report from. But let's go take a look, Rouse. Let's see if we could find Leach Road there. We're going to look for Leach Road in Carroll County, southern Carroll County at least. Um, and I know that there's the Leach community, which is right off of Highway 70. They're just near Tate and Scott Hill. And uh, again, this is mainly watching over parts of uh, southern Carroll County that we may still have this threat. Uh, for a possible tornado there. The National Weather Service is relaying reports that they got a phone call uh, or some sort of communication. Okay, so this is near, okay, report a touchdown near Thousand Acre Recreation Lake. So that's what uh, my initial suspicion was. So you're, you're gonna have to paint a little bit farther north, Corrales. Uh, this was actually a little bit closer here towards just north of Clarksburg where we have that heavy rainfall and you've got the rain that literally just cuts off quickly as you go north of Clarksburg. Poplar Springs Road, tornado on ground. This is actually coming from fire. Uh, this is coming from the fire department. Tornado on ground in Carroll County on Poplar Springs Road. So we're going to go ahead and jump to that location next. This would be a little bit closer again to just south of Huntingdon now. Poplar Springs Road in Carroll County. And this storm, again, is moving slowly. So we're still tracking it very carefully in um, West Tennessee, mainly over Southern Carroll County. Uh, but this is where the possible tornado would be located. We got a report of a touchdown near Carroll County, Thousand Acre Lake, and it continued to move to the east, southeast. Poplar Springs Road, Corrales is actually just off of Highway 22 there. You're gonna come down to just north of Clarksburg here. And I think you should be able to see it actually. It comes down a little bit closer here and go just north of Highway 22. It's actually just north of Clarksburg. So in fact, I would actually zoom on, zoom in on actually this spot right here, just north of Clarksburg, right where you see that second label. There we go. So there's Poplar Springs Road. So this is where local fire department is reporting the tornado is on the ground in Southern Carroll County. 
Poplar Springs Road, tornado reported on ground in Southern Carroll County. They're going to continue the tornado warning, which is now classified as observed for Benton, Carroll, Decatur, and Henderson counties until 715. So this possible tornado, again, now observed. So we've got a confirmation from local fire officials in Carroll County. This is very close to Weatherford Street and Poplar Springs Road, right over Highway 22. It's now 7 o'clock. We're still cutting into local programming now here on ABC and CBS because we just got confirmation from officials in Carroll County that a tornado is on the ground or has been observed on the ground in southern Carroll County near Poplar Springs Road and near Weatherford Street. This is very close to where 22 is just north of Clarksburg. So we'll go ahead and review what we've been talking about this evening since we've been cutting into local programming now for really the better part of the last two hours, or I should say an hour and a half or so, we've been talking about this possible rotation. So we'll go ahead and zoom out here and show the polygon, this polygon that has been issued for four counties in West Tennessee of this possible tornado near Clarksburg is now confirmed as it's been observed by fire in uh, our fire officials in uh, parts of Carroll County. Holiday, Wildersville, you can see these communities included in the tornado warning. So if you're watching from northern Gibson County near Parker's Crossroads or Wildersville or near Natchez Trace State Park or northwestern parts of Decatur County or southwestern Benton or southeastern Carroll near Clarksburg, Yuma or Dollar, I do have some tornado tips I want to share with you to make sure that you're up to date on what this storm is doing. Again, and what you should do if a tornado does end up coming closer towards your area. Again, this is basically where we have this tornado now confirmed from even more people from ham radio operators confirming a tornado on the ground in Southern Carroll County. We'll go ahead and show those tornado tips here for you so you can know what to do if this system ends up coming into your neck of the woods. One of the main things is to stay away from windows and stay into the lowest floor of your home, getting as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You wanna put as many walls between you and where the tornado is as possible. So that would be in a bathroom, a hallway, or closet. Make sure that you grab a helmet and shoes and abandon mobile homes and cars. Those would not be safe places to be. If a tornado is again going to be coming towards that area, a car could easily be flipped by uh, strong winds associated with a tornado, which even in the weakest case are between 65 and 85 miles per hour. Seek sturdy shelter instead. You want to have a helmet on, protect your head and shoes, protect your feet if damage is done. So this is just north of Clarksburg. This is very close to where we just had a tornado a couple of years ago, as a matter of fact, uh, and just north of Clarksburg, um, between Clarksburg and Huntington on Highway 22. And there's a couple more roads here. We're going to take a closer look as we pan a little bit farther east towards some more places where this tornado could be still on the ground as it's, again, only moving at 30 miles per hour. This is Clarksburg Road. you got Weatherford Street. And we'll keep going east to name a few more straight, uh, streets that are also still on the list. We'll just pan a little bit farther east there. There's Staten Lane. We're going to continue to keep going farther east here as we, again, might still have the tornado just north of Clarksburg here. We're closing in on Enoch Cemetery Road and Brandon Road in southeastern Carroll County. Uh, so as you go farther northeast from Clarksburg, up Clarksburg Road, you're getting closer in that area or that zone, at least to where the tornado is located. And again, we got amateur radio operators, EMA employee from Madison County, um, and also uh, Carroll County Fire Department reporting the tornado on the ground as observed there in southeastern Carroll County. So this storm's going to continue to move to the northeast, or excuse me, to the east at about 30 miles per hour. So since we do have that confirmation, I want to go ahead and give you an updated look at the track for this tornado that has now been confirmed on the ground moving east through Carroll County. Uh, this is a close-up view of basically this heavy shower, not even producing any lightning. doesn't have to, to produce a tornado, but in this case, we're more confident that if there is a tornado still on the ground, that it's a weak one. So this is moving to the east at 30 miles per hour. It looks like for the most part, it is going to be missing Wildersville, so that's good. But you can see some more communities still on the list there. Yuma, Holiday, Yellow Springs, Jeanette, and Cosette also showing up there as a possible location for where this tornado could be located. Yuma, 6706, Holiday, 727, Yellow Springs closer to 729, and Jeanette, uh, 734. Uh, this is basically, uh, again, Yuma, mainly in the zone right now where that tornado is located in the next two minutes, and Cosette there in northern Carroll, or excuse me, Decatur County at about 737. So tor tornado, again, like this one, probably has been skipping. It might not have been on the ground the entire time, uh, but these are some of the cities that could be still impacted by this tornado as it uh, continues to move to the east at about 30 miles per hour. Still a very weak picture here. So that just goes to show you that a lot could be happening in that lowest layer of the atmosphere uh, where the radar is not going to be focused on as much. So we've got a report uh, from fire officials that they are headed towards Yuma 
in southeastern Carroll County, which is located right here. You see Yuma on the map. There's Highway 114 and also 424. So as you're going into the Yuma community from Highway 22, those start to connect there over the community of Yuma. There's Highway 114 moving also to the north and east. And uh, we really do appreciate those reports that we've been getting in so far this evening. Still looking at least some very strong winds. That's what this velocity picture is showing me here. And in fact, Corrales, I would be curious if you could turn the tornado polygon off and then do a query of how strong the radar is estimating those winds to be. I would like to know basically what it's estimating the velocity is actually. And I'm going to get an idea for how uh, high up we are looking, because we're not looking at the surface here with this particular thunderstorm. I'm assuming in this case, are you looking at the um, Fort Campbell radar site? I'm trying to move it, yes. Uh, yeah, I think you are, you're right. So this is, uh, so we're watching from even a Kentucky radar site. So if, just to give you an idea, that's the closest radar site available. And we're looking at about 7,500 feet up. We're looking at over a more than a mile up in the sky and the radar is estimating that these wind velocities again, are along the lower end of the scale, but still this is where the maximum velocity is showing up here just north of Yuma. And that seems likely of where the tornado could still be located just in, inside the Yuma community now and right over Westport. Uh, and this is a tornado debris signature. Doesn't really show us a debris being tracked right now. If it was, we would see a bit of a hole and that was just a deep blue showing up, but it was all red. So mainly just rain is falling at least and uh, not much else. Although we did get a report that some of the thunderstorms that have been developing this evening have been producing some small hail. I got a report out of Milan for that. Uh, so, so far, uh, Again, thunderstorms that have been moving through West Tennessee, including the one that's currently still, or the shower at least, that's been moving uh, through parts of Carroll County, might still be producing a bit of a uh, opportunity for a tornado here. And uh, meteorologist Brian Davis, we're in a chat room with him. Uh, Corrales, he makes a great point. If you can, actually, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the controls for weather two, and I want you to go ahead and pull up the camera view that we've got from Lexington, uh, from Beach Lake. Uh, go ahead and see if you can access that, and I'll be able to control the radar from here. Again, this view showing where the polygon is basically in effect. And Wildersville, while you are still in the polygon, I would say the threat has moved out. Clarksburg, the threat is mainly east of Highway 22. So for Clarksburg and Wildersville, the threat from this particular cell that might be producing a tornado has passed, but it continues for Holiday, for Natchez Trace State Park, uh, especially if you know anybody who's actually now north of uh, high, excuse me, north of Interstate 40 in Natchez Trace Park, uh, State Park, that is where the tornado could end up being located very soon. So if you know anybody that's camping there or that's located there, please send them a message if you can get a hold of them. I know the cell signal is very weak there, uh, but they need to know that a possible tornado is heading in their direction uh, and it's very soon to arrive. That latest alert that you just heard there uh, still a update from the National Weather Service about separate warnings because we have had a few other showers develop in West Tennessee. I'll show you so, some of those now. Since we're cutting into local programming for all of West Tennessee here, all of our viewing area, we've only got a few spotty showers showing up in Hardeman and Fayette County. Carroll, Benton County are the main highlighted zones for where we still have some heavy showers and have had some thunderstorms recently. Camden, you've got some heavy rain moving through the city right now. But at the moment, I don't see uh, any visuals of rotation currently. Uh, really only the main picture uh, that I see witnessing uh, or that I'm witnessing that shows me more evidence of a tornado is now this velocity signature right over southeastern Carroll County. And the velocity still, again, seems to be indicating that there's at least some weak rotations, very, very unorganized, very disorganized right here over southeastern Carroll County. And that's headed right into the very southeasternmost corner of Carroll County too, right where Carroll County actually is part of where Interstate 40 runs through. If you've ever driven on Interstate 40 before, you know briefly Carroll County is uh, on, uh, is or Interstate 40 is in Carroll County. So that's the area that is uh, my main concern right now is the southeasternmost corner of Carroll County. I'm going to go back to doing some street level mapping here to show you in the Yuma community what we're talking about. Highway 114, uh, we're talking also about Hopewell Church Road and Highway 114, those two streets especially, possibly locating where the tornado is right now. That was observed by ham radio operators, uh, EMA, and also by fire officials in Carroll County. Uh, so we had three separate reports, uh, as well as reports related from the National Weather Service, uh, that actually a tornado is on the ground 
in parts of southeastern Carroll County and still possibly located near Yuma. It may have lifted by this point, uh, but at the very latest update that we got from the National Weather Service, which was for this particular alert uh, at about 659, so that was 10 minutes ago, uh, their latest update still said that this was an observed tornado. So no new reports other than that so far. Some very high winds still being depicted, although they are 7,500 feet up over parts of southeastern Carroll County. So we don't have a lot of evidence of what's actually going on on the surface, and that's why we care so much about reports being sent in when those are sent in safely. We did get a report also from one of our sales contacts, uh, Meredith Fuller. She said she sent a video of a funnel cloud uh, from the marina at Carroll County Thousand Acre Lake. Uh, so we're going to hopefully be able to share that with you also this evening. But a funnel cloud is also the next step before a tornado. Uh, wall clouds were spotted over Trenton this evening. We got no reports of any touchdowns of a tornado. Um, and at this point, still no reports of any touchdowns of a tornado in western Carroll County. But once the cell started to move east of Highway 22 near Clarksburg and also over Yuma, that's where the reports of tornadoes started to come in. Corrales, would you happen to have that uh, visual ready? Do you, are you seeing anything? I do have the Beachley cam. It's a little bit hard to see. Okay. Yes, but you I do have it pulled up. Very dark picture, very cloudy yes. sky, of course, right? So, and we are seeing some sun breakthrough too. So this isn't a completely overcast evening all of West Tennessee. There's still some sunlight that broke in today to create some energy in the atmosphere, which is what caused a thunderstorm to develop that ultimately did result, again, in a possible uh, tornado over Western Carroll County, but an observed one in South Central and Southeastern now Carroll County. So right now that picture again, still looking very dark, just gloomy, no visible specific features that I see in that view, but this is looking off to the north and mostly to the north, maybe a little bit to the north northeast across Beach Lake there. So um, we're actually looking on the um, western side of that cell that could be still producing a tornado as it's moving through Carroll County. So we'll jump back over to weather two. And uh, again, still I'm seeing reports on our social media, different, uh, different sites here. Uh, we still had a confirmation of a touchdown at Carroll County Thousand Acre Lake. So basically right just west, or excuse me, just east of Highway 70. The storm tracked to the southeast and it continues to move on that path. Latest radar scan there didn't seem to continue the high wind velocities. Um, they were a little bit lower now. So we're hoping that this storm is continuing to weaken, but we've been staying with local programming just for the very possibility uh, that a tornado may have been on the ground. And it seems like per three separate agencies that we got reports from, that that actually was a good thing we did because a tornado has been reported to have touched down in parts of Carroll County, south and southeast of Huntingdon. Uh, so we'll continue to see if we get any more updates there as the National Weather Service is putting out some more updates. Right, the National Weather Service is setting in that they are going to continue to put out a new tornado warning now. This will be the, um, I think it's the third, or this is now the, actually, this will be the third for this particular tornado warning for Carroll County. Um, but this is going to be um, all the way up to the border of the National Weather Service County Warning Area. So this is going all the way up to Perry County. So this is going to include most of northern Decatur County and also southern Benton County. And I believe that'll continue at least through probably 730, 745 maybe. Um, so that's a new tornado warning the National Weather Service is working on for northern parts of Decatur County and southern portions of Benton County as well. Uh, just trying to see again any other reports. Uh, just got a report, the National Weather Service saying they just got a report from, this would be, well they actually haven't, uh, they haven't credited who gave them the report, but uh, they're saying just got a report the tornado is still on the ground between Yuma and Westport. So let's do some street level mapping, Corrales. I'll let you take over the controls there on weather two. Jump off those for you. And uh, this is the main area now. We're watching the possibility for a tornado. So between Yuma and Westport, there right here is where the tornado might be located. Let's take a look at that street right here between Westport. This is Highway 114. So this is where the tornado could be located on Highway 114 in southeastern Carroll County. And this storm again continuing to move to the east southeast. So Dollar, Yuma, Westport, stay in your tornado safe place. I want to go ahead and revisit those with you since it was 13 minutes or about 12 minutes since the last time we actually brought those up. Uh, again, I want to make sure that you're up to date with what we are watching. It's a tornado that's still reportedly on the ground near Highway 114 and Westport Road, just between Westport and Yuma in southeastern Carroll County. And if you're located there or located also in northern Decatur County, as well as southwestern Benton County, your holiday, 
or anywhere near Interstate 40 for that matter in Carroll, Benton, or Decatur counties, make sure that you stay in the lowest part of your house and the centermost part of your home too. A new tornado warning, which is now classified as observed tornado for Benton, Carroll, and Decatur counties, and even northeastern Henderson County, which includes Natchez Trace State Park, uh, right along Interstate 40 there up through 8 p.m. So for the next 45 minutes, we're going to continue with local programming because there is now confirmed a tornado on the ground moving through parts of West Tennessee. And this is through southern portions of Benton County, northern Decatur County, and possibly also through northeastern parts of Henderson and southeastern Carroll still. Uh, so that would include Natchez Trace State Park, Westport, Yuma, Dollar, and also towards Holiday and northern parts of Decatur County, like Jeanette and Cosette, those communities in Decatur County too. Um, as far as I've seen, still no reports of damage, thankfully, although I do know of some reputable sources in that area that will let us know if they are seeing any damage in that part of West Tennessee. So we're going to try and see if we can get a little bit more in terms of the evidence there for this tornado on the ground, which continues to be reported by several agencies in West Tennessee, but so we haven't had the uh, visual confirmation yet. We're just watching videos and pictures be sent in of the clouds basically over the area. Still raining heavily, of course, and uh, at this point, still not even lightning in the last 10 minutes. Again, tornadoes don't necessarily have to produce lightning or don't have to have lightning associated with them to produce damaging winds. In this case, we don't have any lightning occurring with this particular cell that's moving through Carroll County there. Uh, this is not heading, by the way, for Camden, and this is not heading, as far as we can see right now, for Decaturville. Uh, let's go ahead and we can zoom out, Corrales, and we'll just show a few more of those locations. And the one that won't pop up here, we need to add it to the map, but Natchez Trace State Park. If you know anybody who's in that area, let them know that the tornado has been confirmed and is headed toward Natchez Trace State Park, especially the part of the park that's north of Interstate 40 in Carroll County. On the part that's south of Interstate 40 in Henderson County, I would still urge those who could to get to a shelter as soon as possible to get to some perhaps of uh, those bathrooms that might be available that might still be open. And um, again, these thunderstorms that we've had so far this evening, if they were producing tornadoes, it was probably very quickly. So that's why this tornado warning is still in effect. It's had the evidence at least at times for possibly producing a tornado. And now we've got a confirmation from officials in parts of Carroll County, as well as even from Madison County. Someone associated with the emergency management agency, we were told, was there in Carroll County chasing the storm and confirmed the tornado on the ground. So uh, those are the different cells that we are still watching still for parts of northeastern West Tennessee near Benton County, but this one is the one that's producing the tornado. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a review, though, since we have a moment here, Corrales, and then I want to go back to do some street level mapping and also uh, just a review of some of the tornado tips uh, that we'll try to share here. This is the possible location of the tornado right now, right over southeastern Carroll County. Again, this is a little bit of a notch showing a little bit of some inflow there. So possible tornado mainly main on the northern side of Highway 114 in southeastern Carroll County. Highway 114 also does turn north itself. So on the eastern and the northern side of Highway 114 in Carroll County is where the tornado is possibly still located. Peach Tree or excuse me, Pecan Tree Road also on the list here of possible locations for the tornado might end up making its way through. That's Pecan Tree Road. It's going to continue again, mainly to the east at 30 miles per hour. So maybe less of a concern now for areas of north central Henderson County near Wildersville or Clarksburg. Those are no longer a concern, at least for this possible tornado uh, that was confirmed again by some officials in that area. But I would say at least for these areas closest to the Carroll Benton County line and also right where Interstate 40 runs through parts of Carroll County. That's where we might still have this tornado on the ground here. And I've got a lot of photos. Thank you to everybody who's been sharing at least their view, a visual uh, of what they're watching from. We got plenty of photos like that from Gibson County earlier. And those were actually evidence of why the National Service issued the tornado warning to begin with on whether one Weather One computer, I just want to show you what this cell looked like when it was making its way through parts of Trenton. Uh, really an ominous picture there. That's a view, though, of Beach Lake. Um, and the view, view, at least there, shows the sun starting to come out. So behind these showers isn't much else. That's a view of the wall cloud. This is what may still be seen by those in southeastern Carroll County near Yuma, near Westport, also near Dollar. So those are the communities, again, that might still be looking at a storm like this that could end up be still continuing to produce a tornado. Uh, we're getting some videos from parts of Yuma, from Clarksburg, uh, from Poplar Springs Road, which is where we actually got the report of the tornado. Actually, here I got a photo. 
Um, if you don't mind, actually, Corrales, I uh, would, uh, would like to see if we could pull up that, that picture uh, on weather uh, one. You'll be able to show that, but we're still going to hang out on weather two. So I'm going to go ahead and log back in and take control of radar uh, while we're here. Tornado warning still in effect through 8 o'clock now uh, for southeastern Carroll County and southern parts of Benton County. And Corrales, if you can jump on to the, that uh, Weather 3 computer, I actually have a picture of the tornado. Uh, somebody sent this in from Yuma. So if you can, jump onto Weather 3 and look at uh, my Facebook page. Go to the photo that's listed from Gina Bush. Gina Bush took this uh, photo of the tornado. She sent this in. Actually, sorry, that's from our station account. So you're going to look for the photo from Gina Bush. And we're, we're, we're going to ask her where this was taken to see if we can get an idea for where she's located because that's a picture of the tornado on the ground that we actually just got confirmation of. Um, so if you can, see if you can get onto the station Facebook page and see if you can pop that up full screen when you get a chance, Corrales. In the meantime, I'm going to control radar here and walk us through this thunderstorm or the shower. Still, not even a thunderstorm. We do have thunderstorms that are making their way through parts of Humphreys County and parts of Middle Tennessee and still outside of southwest Tennessee and Mississippi. A little bit more instability in the atmosphere there. And uh, Krause, you know what? Just go ahead and shout out to me when you got it. Just let me know. Um, other than that, that's the only activity. So Carroll County, we still have some showers here. Northern Henderson County, northeastern Henderson County, especially near Natchez Trace State Park. This is north of Highway 412. So this doesn't include Lexington, doesn't include uh, the city of Chesterfield or Darden. We're mainly talking about the very northeasternmost corner of Henderson County, which is where Interstate 40 enters uh, parts of Henderson County and southeastern Carroll County, too. This is the possible, uh, again, tornado still on the ground. We've had a confirmation that it's at least been there at some point. Um, and I got a photo to prove it now uh, that a tornado has been on the ground. Yellow Springs, Jeanette, Sugar Tree, Holiday, McIlwain, uh, New Safford. I'm listing all the communities that I would like to get into the tornado safe place. Lowest floor of the house, centermost part of the house, putting as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Perfect, Krause. Well done. This is a tornado right here. This is the one that was sent in. She did not give us a location on that tornado, though. Uh, so we're still waiting to hear back from her on that. Let's see. She said one mile southwest of Carroll County Lake. And, uh, there's two lakes, of course, just southwest of Huntington. There's Carroll County Lake, and there's also Thousand Acre Recreational Lake in Carroll County. Uh, but that is where the tornado touched down. Pretty clear picture of that tornado moving through a very rural part of West Tennessee. It is south. It was south of Huntington at this point, the time the picture was taken. But this is it. This is the tornado making its way through. Gina just sent this picture to us on Facebook. And this is why the tornado will continue at least for the next uh, about 36 or 37 minutes uh, for parts of southwest uh, parts of uh, Benton County, northeastern parts of Carroll, or excuse me, southeastern parts of Carroll County and also uh, for northwestern parts of Decatur County. Uh, so this is the tornado that was on the ground that was reported by uh, ham radio operators as well as emergency management and also local fire officials there in parts of Carroll County earlier this evening. But the storm right now is making its way into parts of Decatur County. Uh, so I'll give you a track on that on weather too. And keep you want to keep that picture there uh, actually ready uh, it, or available, I should say, uh, because we'll definitely be jumping back to, to that for anybody who's jumping into local programming here in a moment. Uh, but this thunderstorm, still moving, or what was a thunderstorm at some point, is moving to the southeast at still about approximately 20 to 30 miles per hour. It's a slow moving system. It's headed towards Yellow Springs and Cosette, but right now it's over parts of Natchez Trace State Park in northeastern Henderson and southeastern parts of Carroll County. So right over Natchez Trace State Park, just south of Holiday, south of McIlwain, and headed towards Yellow Springs and Cosette. So those are two places that I'm most concerned with. Parsons is not included, though, within that tornado warning. So you can see where Parsons and you can see where Decaturville are located. They are not included in the tornado warning or the polygon itself. This is mainly for northern parts of Decatur County and southern parts of Benton County, southeastern parts of Henderson County and northeastern parts of, or excuse me, sorry, southeastern Carroll and northeastern Henderson. Uh, I know we're repeating ourselves, but for anybody who's just tuning in, we just want to let you know that a tornado has been observed on the ground and is continuing to push through parts of West Tennessee in a bit of a quad County area here, basically between those four counties that I just mentioned that you see scrolling on the very bottom of your screen. The tornado warning is going to last until 8 o'clock, and that's mainly because this is such a slow moving storm. It's only moving to the east southeast at about uh, 30 miles per hour. 
Uh, that's very slow speed for most uh, thunderstorms to be moving, it, especially even in a uh, uh, springtime. But as we're entering the summertime, we're going to see these move even slower than that. So tornado warning continues until 8 o'clock for those four counties that you see on their screen. We just got an update from the National Weather Service. Kraus, I'm going to see if you can relay that to us, though, uh, in the Storm Team Weather Center there. What are you seeing that their latest report uh, just started to say? Um, it looks like they had a report, I think this is the report of the funnel cloud um, that was reported near Highway 104 near Milan earlier, but okay. let me see, in Carroll County, they're saying fire department, tornado touchdown near Leach Road, travels southeast, crossing Purdy and Poplar Springs Road near the Thousand Lakes community, and then the tornado continued southeast toward Yuma and Westport Road. So that's essentially what's been going on um, at least a, a good hour or so with this particular cell. So this is just the update that they have uh, so far right. um, for that specific tornado over in Southern Carroll County. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. The latest report that they did say, it uh, didn't even include, it included who it was from, it was from fire. And um, say it again. Fire department and rescue, yes. Right, fire, fire department and rescue. They didn't actually indicate that there was any damage done, and they usually would. Usually in a report will say that there have been a, there's been a home destroyed or there's been a, you know, a um, vehicle flipped or something like that from the tornado, but there was no indication whatsoever um, of whether or not there was damage occurring. There was only information that said where the tornado was, touching down on Leach Road and heading southeast towards Purdy, Poplar Springs Road in Carroll County, near the Thousand Lakes community. The tornado continued to touch down southeast towards Yuma and Westport road as well. So we're looking back at where the possible tornado is located that was confirmed now and this is moving southeast towards Jeanette, Yellow Springs, Sugar Tree. I'll also include the holiday Mickleway as it seems like the tornado seemed to have at some points been mainly on the northern side of the cell. I'm curious to see if I'll let you take over the controls there, Corrales, but I'm curious to see if the velocity is showing us any indication that this has been strengthening up again. Again, we were talking earlier about where we're talking about in the upper atmosphere. We really need to see the lowest, maybe one to 2,000 feet in order to get good data here. And we're looking at as far as 7,000 uh, feet up. Uh, so there is certainly still a indication here that there's some strong winds within this cell. Um, but not a whole lot of indication that there's rotation. And if there is rotation, it's probably in that lowest one, two, or 3,000 feet in the atmosphere. So we have had some uh, pictures be sent in of uh, the funnel clouds that have been spotted across West Tennessee this evening and now tornadoes, uh, or the tornado that has been making its way through Carroll County. No report of a tornado touching down in um, Gibson County. Uh, only in parts of Carroll County so far this evening, and that was east of Highway 70 through southeastern parts of Carroll County and possibly still on the ground. I just have a, I have a video now. If you want to pull that up next, Corrales, and what I would actually recommend that you do is pull up the video full screen um, on Weather 3, and then what you could do next is you could just jog over to a graphic that just shows us what you're seeing on Weather 3 on that computer. Uh, we're going to show you video of the tornado here in just a minute when she can get that ready because Joshua Hermes just shared that with me uh, or just shared that with our station Facebook account at least. Uh, and it looks like the storm is still over a very rural area um, and we'll hopefully see that the da there is no damage from it at least and maybe just over an open field. Uh, but this is again where that storm might still be located moving southeast and continuing to make its way towards parts of Decatur County. Uh, it looks like it's almost pretty much there. At least the heavy rain is still located there in parts of Carroll County, uh, or excuse me, uh, Decatur County. But for those watching in Decatur County, this storm does not include a threat for Decaturville or for Parsons. This is mainly north of uh, Parsons on Highway 641, heading up in towards parts of uh, Benton County eventually. So Mickleway, Holiday, those two communities in the southern side of Benton County certainly included in the threat for a tornado here. Uh, we got video of that. Corrales, you have it ready? Video okay. of that. Okay, great. So go ahead and pause Go ahead and pull that up on Weather One here so we can show you what we are watching with this system as it's continuing to make its way through West Tennessee. We're waiting to get confirmation of where this actually occurred. That's the, the photo. Yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> this is what we saw earlier. This was reported uh, by Gina Bush. This was near Carroll County Lake. That was what she worded. We have had reports also from parts of Thousand Acre Recreational Lake in Carroll County that there was a touchdown there too. So this may be very close to the same area. Now those two lakes are pretty close together. Uh, but here's a visualization for the actual tornado that was just sent into us. A video was sent in of the touchdown. 
Joshua Hermes took this video and this shows you the tornado itself actually making contact with the ground now. And you can see it looks like a little bit of, a, of some power flashes, certainly some strong winds there, but this is the tornado. This is not a funnel cloud anymore. This is making contact with the ground. So that's the tornado that actually touched down in southeastern Carroll County just moments ago as we've been covering this cell. Even since 529 this evening, we've been on air covering this thunderstorm that's been making its way closer toward the Tennessee River. Uh, so I appreciate Joshua for sharing that video with us and Gina for sharing the photo with us too. But that's it. That's the video showing you the tornado making contact with the ground. It's now coming up on 730. The tornado warning is still in effect for the next half hour as it continues to move through parts of Decatur and Benton counties. And this, again, is still a dangerous scene here. Very strong winds. Looks like it is a relatively weak tornado. We're not talking about uh, a very violent tornado, but one that could certainly still do damage. And that's why we're going to urge caution with this to make sure that you get into the lowest floor of your home and the centermost part of your home, too. So now that it is 730, I would like to review some of those tips with you because we're cutting into local programming because a tornado is on the ground right now and still in parts of now entering Benton and Decatur County, leaving from parts of southeastern Carroll County and northeastern Henderson County. That's where the tornado was located and it's moving through. Stay away from windows, go to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor, grab a helmet and shoes, abandon cars and mobile homes, and try to seek sturdy shelter. If you know anybody in that area in northern Benton, or excuse me, in northern Decatur or southern Benton counties, please let them know that there's a tornado now confirmed on the ground and it's moving through parts of West Tennessee, namely in southeastern parts of Carroll County, northeastern Henderson and southern Benton and northern Decatur counties. Again, entering the Yellow Springs right now. And even though our radar is not really able to give us a clean picture for where exactly the tornado is located, we can tell you that you should take those tornado precautions if you're located in the polygon, which again could be as far south as Jeanette. This is basically showing you that anywhere north of Bible Hill, certainly north of Parsons, there's Parsons on the map. Parsons is not included in that tornado warning. Uh, but as you go up towards uh, northern Benton County, you get very far away from that tornado. So it does not include Camden. It does not include the county uh, community of Gismonda. It does not include Coxburg, Rockport, or Birdsong Heights along the Tennessee River. It's mainly from McIlwain, Holiday, and then right on the county line, pretty much where Interstate 40 is located. So we could potentially have a very dangerous situation where vehicles are trying to travel on Interstate 40 into a possible tornado, which at this point I would still estimate is a little bit closer to uh, the western side of Decatur County. And I'll go ahead and shift those controls over to you, Corrales, there. Uh, but on, Car uh, on Interstate 40, right where Carroll, Henderson, and Decatur counties all meet, uh, that's basically where I would see a possibility for this tornado to be located right now. Again, we have had confirmation that the tornado actually did make touchdown and may still be on the ground. And the National Weather Service is going to continue that tornado warning until 8 o'clock. Uh, so the tornado warning lasts until then for the next 28 minutes. So we're going to continue to relay more pictures, more videos of what viewers are seeing in that area because they've helped us understand that there is still a very serious situation here with a tornado still possibly on the ground in parts of uh, Decatur County. Go ahead, Krauss. Did say that video was near uh, Huntington and on Leach Road? Joshua, who sent us that video? Did he, did he, are you, oh, you're asking, yes, he said yes. Huntington, it's, it was near the Huntington area, uh, near Leach, actually. Leach yes. is on the southwest side of Huntington. It's uh, basically just down Highway 70, so between Leach and Huntington, sounds like, was where that video was taken or where the, the touchdown was of that tornado. Uh, I'm also going to be kind of curious to see, though, what we get from Decatur and Benton counties because both of those areas now more at risk uh, for this tornado that may still be on the ground as it makes its way through West Tennessee. And again, mainly near Interstate 40 now, um, continuing to move to the east at only 30 miles per hour. This has been a very, very slow moving storm. Uh, so I'll go ahead and shout out the North 40 truck stop, which is located right here where Highway 641 meets with Interstate 40. This is where the tornado may still be making its way through. So again, that particular zone right there, Google traffic does not seem to be showing any slowdowns right now. There also might not be too many cars on the road, but that's a visual for where the tornado might be making its way through. The North 40 truck stop, just south of McIlwain, south of Holiday, north of Jeanette, Yellow Springs, Sugar Tree, those areas in rural parts of northern Decatur County. Please still take your tornado precautions and stay in the lowest floor of your home in the centermost part of that house, putting many as walls as you can put between you and the outside as possible. That's going to be the goal here especially since now we got uh, clear evidence that the tornado is on the ground. We've had two separate pictures and videos be sent in. 
and uh, the tornado warning going to be continuing for Benton and Decatur County. Um, so this storm continuing to move through. I did see, though, that uh, Krause, they mentioned a new update. The National Weather Service is putting out some new information about this particular shell and how fast it's moving. Uh, I saw that they recently updated that. I wondered if also you saw anything else in terms of any updates about the uh, contents of the storm here. What are you seeing on your end? Um, I believe for what you said, yeah, they're continuing that warning. It's moving east at 25, so even slower. It's been consistently moving at around 30 miles per hour, so it hasn't been moving really fast at all. And this storm has had pretty much history within much of the last couple of hours, um, starting off from at least Gibson County for us mm -hmm. here. But so right now that there is a confirmed tornado that was located about seven miles northeast of Notches Trace Park. That's what they're saying right now, National Weather Service moving east at roughly 25 miles per hour. And this one is until at least eight o'clock. So that's what, um, the latest so far that they have put out. Um, in terms of any other updates, um, I'm gonna just keep continuing to look on social media to see yeah. if anybody has sent us any more photos or videos of what they saw within this same particular storm. Not necessarily now, but also the past hour, hour and a half or so. Yeah, we have had a lot of people faithfully send in some reports with videos or pictures of this tornado. And I want to share those with you right now. One of those was sent in from Joshua Hermes in Huntington. If we still have it up, Krause, if it's still available, let's go ahead and jog over to Weather One. I want to show you a video of this tornado. Again, this was on the ground just south of Huntington earlier, right near the Leach community near Carroll County Thousand Acre Recreational Lake. So this is the tornado actually making touchdown with the ground. And uh, this storm is what is still moving into northern parts of Decatur and southern Benton counties right now. So this is why we're cutting into local programming. It's because a tornado is confirmed to have been on the ground with that tornado warning and it's continuing to move to the east southeast so it's going to make its way closer to the Tennessee River. It's about to cross Interstate 40 in parts of northern Decatur and also southern Benton counties and it's going to continue on that path eventually toward the Tennessee River as well. Uh, but we do appreciate everybody who's been sharing that media with us so that we can continue in local programming here for this tornado. We'll go back though to weather two and we'll go ahead again and update grounds if you want me to. I can actually go ahead and control radar so you can try to see a little bit more on um, social media and uh, to see what we're dealing with now that the storm is moving through parts of northern Decatur County. Again, for those who are just tuning in, we are continuing local programming because of the confirmation of a tornado on the ground. And for folks who are watching from Carroll County and from northern Henderson County, right now we've got scattered rain, but no thunderstorms uh, right now. If I zoom out even farther, I'll give you a better picture to show you what the whole scheme is for West Tennessee. And I realize for many in Jackson, for uh, Henderson, for Selmer, Savannah, we've been cutting into your shows um, and you haven't even had a drop of rain this evening. I understand that, uh, but a tornado has on the ground and is threatening life and property. So that's why we are continuing to cut in to local programming this evening. It's uh, just our duty uh, to make sure that we share life-saving information with those who are watching from those, especially, those areas, especially at risk from the tornado. Uh, so these thunderstorms are going to continue to produce at least meager rotation. But again, as I've been showing you this evening, we've been looking at almost 8,000 feet up in the sky and if the tornado is on the ground, it's probably only in the lowest one to 2,000 feet in the atmosphere. So this possible tornado still on the ground now and moving into northern Decatur County uh, is one that's going to be difficult for us to show you with radar. But at least I can tell you the areas that are going to need to take those tornado precautions. That's still going to include Holiday and McElwain right along the county line between parts of Decatur and Benton counties and also northern Decatur County. Those areas I'm still very concerned with, even though the visual, the actual picture we got of the tornado, uh, the video that was sent in did not look like an especially violent uh, EF5 tornado. It is certainly one that could still do damage. It could break down trees. It could break power lines in that area. It certainly could still cause some destruction. In fact, the latest radar scan I just got here uh, just showed me that the storm seems to be getting a little bit taller as well. This has been basically the height of the thunderstorm for the last couple of hours or so. It's been making its way closer to 30,000, closer to 40,000 feet at time, and that would actually help me see a picture that it would getting, be getting stronger, but it's still just barely toppling out at uh, 
uh, about 20,000 feet. So it doesn't really look likely that this thunderstorm is getting stronger. It's a very possibly weak tornado if we still have one on the ground associated with it. But again, I just want to reiterate that it could still be threatening to life and property in that area of northern, uh, mainly northern Decatur County, but also the extremely southern side of uh, parts of Benton County right now. Uh, so these thunderstorms, again, still might be in, indicating at least at times some rotation, uh, but I just will have to, we'll just have to go based on what people are reporting to us, which so far this evening has continued to have been um, uh, that the tornado was at least on the ground in Carroll County between Highway 70 and Yuma. Um, and so that's going to include a very large piece of real estate here. Again, Yuma is basically in the southeasternmost corner of Carroll County. And we've been tracking this uh, since it was in Gibson County earlier when the tornado warning was first issued. Uh, but that's a bit of an idea, about 10 miles of land that we had a confirmation that the tornado was on the ground still. And once this thunderstorm started to approach the county line and has been moving closer to Interstate 40 and has been coming across parts of Decatur County, we don't have as much evidence right now. We haven't seen as many reports from Interstate 40 or from northern Decatur County where the storm is located now. Uh, that there still might be a tornado on the ground. So you can see here clearly that there's some heavy rainfall and we've at least had a couple of lightning strikes when the storm is in Decatur County, but, or in uh, Carroll County, excuse me, but it's about to cross Highway 641 right now. So if you know anybody that lives just south of Interstate 40 or along Highway 641, just north of Interstate 40, uh, that area, that uh, X marks the spot basically for the zone that I'm still watching very carefully for where we might still have a tornado on the ground. Um, the activity around the rest of West Tennessee uh, still ha has continued to be pretty marginal. I mean, we had some heavy showers and thunderstorms move through uh, parts of southwest Tennessee earlier this evening. And again, no rain recently in parts of Madison County. It's been very quiet here. We do have some showers starting to show up east of Bolivar and Hardeman County. But these, these are all moving to the east southeast. So at this time, I don't see anything imminent, imminent for Jackson. It doesn't look likely that we're going to have any showers come into the Hub City anytime soon. <clears throat> uh, so these thunderstorms, again, it might still redevelop. It's possible that the next, I would say, two, uh, two hours uh, still have an opportunity for us to see some development in West Tennessee. Um, but at this time, the main concern is for this one cell, this one particular cell making its way uh, through part of, uh, in this case, uh, northern Decatur County. Now, the National Weather Service uh, has been relaying some reports for us. So we really appreciate that we were able to see that EMA, fire, and a ham radio operators were all sharing information that the tornado was on the ground in Southern Carroll County. Um, right now, the most recent update that we got, meteorologist Mo Schimel is actually relaying that from Natchez Trace Park that they're confirming that the tornado is on the ground. They could hear it snapping trees and pictures have been shared via social media about that. So northern Decatur County still could still have this tornado on the ground moving through Natchez Trace State Park that does include parts of Carroll County at least. Uh, so as you go north on um, at least Natchez Trace State Park, if you go north, you enter Carroll County and that seems to be where uh, the tornado may have still been located as it moved about 10, maybe 15 miles uh, through parts of Carroll into now Decatur County. Uh, what we're looking at here is I want to draw you in a little bit more closely to Highway 641 so that I can try to pop up a few more locations that are on the map here for us. That's Interstate 40, uh, so we're very close now to the uh, truck stop that's located there. Uh, that's going to be near Yellow Springs and Sugar Tree, and traffic does seem to be getting a little slower there. North 40 truck stop uh, is basically what we're looking at. So we've also got uh, the Country Hooters Bar. We've got the Sandy's Burger Barn, uh, Prime Towing. Those are some businesses that might be impacted by this thunderstorm right near uh, the intersection of uh, basically Highway 641 and Interstate 40. And just for uh, some of you uh, road buffs, we're talking about the exit that's 126. So at an exit 126 is located uh, basically around where that tornado could still be. And just south of there, north of this town of Cos Cosette, uh, that's where we've got the heavy rain. So it's not for certain that the tornado is necessarily smack dab in the middle of this system. It seems to have been most recently on the northern side there. And based on a uh, latest track from uh, Google traffic there, it does seem like uh, there is still possibly a tornado on the ground moving through southern parts of Benton County and into northern Decatur County as well. Uh, so those are the spots that we're, again, still most concerned with. The storm has effectively moved completely out of Carroll and Henderson counties. So those are no longer in the tornado warning. But we'll continue in local programming here for the next. Uh, that will be about 16 minutes uh, because a tornado 
has been confirmed. It was shown earlier to be on the ground, and it may still be on the ground as well. Uh, so we'll be continuing to at least share that information about this system. Whatever is being relayed to us from local EMA, fire, which we've already received so far this evening, and several photos being shared um, uh, over that part too. So we'll continue to at least stay with local programming just in case this storm decides to touch down another tornado or it has continued to have been doing so. I'll go ahead and show you though the velocity here. Very weak picture. Again, I told you we've been looking at about 8,000 feet up in the atmosphere. So very, very high up. Uh, we're looking at about a mile and a half up in the sky and we really need the lowest few thousand feet uh, to get the best information about a tornado and unfortunately this is moving into what's called a radar dead zone where there's very little coverage for radar in that area. One tool that we'll try to look at though is a tornado debris detector and see if there's any debris being lofted. I don't see that here. I would see a bright blue uh, sphere show up right there over Highway 641 or near Interstate 40 if there actually was a tornado. And if I look at another feature of velocity here, this is at least showing that there are some very strong winds in this area between uh, Cosette and Interstate 40 on Highway 641. Uh, so that's the main area of concern. I would say that the threat really is diminishing rapidly for southern parts of Benton County. McElwain is still very close. Uh, Holiday is still very close. but. The thunderstorm seems to be more on an east-southeastward path now. The National Weather Service uh, has related one more report. THP confirms tornado is on the ground at Interstate 40 in Natchez Trace State Park, and that was five minutes ago. Um, and so they're continuing to see that there is a tornado on the ground. Now it's coming into contact with Interstate 40, uh, making its way through parts, at least of northern Benton and, or excuse me, northern Decatur and southern uh, Benton County there. I do see that traffic does seem to be slowing down a bit on Interstate 40, uh, so hopefully everybody's okay. We'll try to get any updates on any damage reports uh, from that area as well, if, uh, if that's available. Uh, but the storm seems to have moved largely now, uh, mainly east of Highway 641. It's possible that the tornado may still be located here. Again, it was mentioned five minutes ago that the storm was actually still in Natchez Trace State Park, but it's located in Henderson County, so uh, I believe we're we're at least looking at the storm mainly downstream of that location now. We're especially concerned with areas in northern Decatur County here and also into uh, southern Benton County uh, for where this tornado might still be located right now. As we had video, we had pictures all being shared in uh, showing where that system was located, where the storm was located. So um, still want to continue with local programming there because it's very possible that the tornado is still on the ground doing damage and it's crossing a busy area, a busy intersection uh, near the North 40 truck stop and Highway 641 and Interstate 40. Uh, for those that are just tuning in though, again, this storm has produced a tornado not only did we have some rotation show up on radar at times this evening, we actually got visual confirmation of that. So that cell now east of Highway 641 uh, did this. Let's jump over to Weather 1 and I'll show you the video uh, that showed this tornado actually touching down near Huntingdon. This was south of Huntingdon in the Leach community. You can clearly see the funnel cloud, but you also see that it's making contact with the ground here. This was in Carroll County when this thunderstorm was moving through. There's the rotation there. You can clearly see that making contact with the ground, uh, producing some heavy rainfall in light of some very strong winds too. But that itself, folks, was the tornado that we're continuing to track as it's making its way closer to the Tennessee River. Uh, so that spot is still the hot spot for where we might still have this tornado uh, located. And we did get a picture earlier as well I'm going to see if I can show that to you too. This uh, was a photo that was sent to us earlier of the tornado itself. This was actually nearby the Thousand Acre Recreational Lake in Carroll County, just southwest of Huntington on Highway 70 near the community of Leach. Uh, this spot, of course, this is a, a textbook shot of uh, a tornado here. It's made contact with the ground. It's dropping from a convective thunderstorm. We've got all the different tools and ways to see that this is now possibly still doing damage, but the tree line is blocking us from being able to see at least what it is doing on the ground. So I would just still imagine this picture with a tornado a warning that we still have an effect. This is what's moving through West Tennessee at the moment. We don't have confirmation that it has lifted, and that's what I need in order to send you back to local programming here. I need to know that it is at least has, has lifted and is long, no longer doing damage. Got a couple of other pictures here. This is video that was shared in Dyer when the storm was originally in Gibson County. So this too might be a good way to represent what the visualization looks like 
at least over parts of uh, Benton County and Decatur County right now as that storm continues to move in that direction. So we'll jump back over to weather two now to show you on radar as we're going to continue to track this for at least a little bit longer. A thunderstorm that uh, was producing some rotation now just a shower, no lightning here, but still possibly a tornado that's making its way closer to the Tennessee River. The rain has already crossed the Tennessee River and it's entering in towards parts of Perry County in the middle Tennessee. Uh, but if there is a tornado on the ground, Still with this system, it would be very close to Highway 641 and Interstate 40, and it's just on the northwest side of that cell there. So it's going to continue to push to the southeast with all that heavy rainfall in the area. You can see the latest update still shows that it's very close also to Interstate 40, right where Benton and Decatur counties meet. Uh, so this system still entering a very rural area. Uh, but an area nonetheless that it could be causing some damage to life and property. So I'm going to jump back into the weather center and uh, go ahead and track this for you to give you an idea for what we have on basically the forecast for the rest of the evening because uh, we not only have Again, these thunderstorms or these showers that have been producing some heavy rainfall, and in this case a tornado, but there have been others as well. We have some redevelopment over portions of Carroll County. Uh, that's been showing up just recently. And Carroll County. This is over the city of Huntingdon now. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in lapse mode for you so you can see it just recently starting to pick up speed and intensity. And I'll just do my due diligence to see if I see anything that's indicating that there might be some rotation with it. I don't see any, uh, so that's good. Just heavy rainfall and again, still no lightning. This thunderstorm uh, that was originally in Gibson County moved a long distance. It was basically just developing over northern Gibson County and it's been moving through West Tennessee for the last 60 miles or so. But especially for about a 10 mile stretch, 10 to 15 mile stretch was where we got confirmed reports of a tornado touching down over Carroll County. So uh, it was about of a bit of a southeastward path for that uh, tornado as it made its way through areas just north of Clarksburg and also through the Westport community, through Dollar, through Yuma. Uh, and also through Leach. Uh, so just to give you just a rough estimate for where the tornado was, we'll just assume it was near Highway 70 and it's been continuing to move to the east-southeast. We did get reports also on social media from, uh, it, it, from meteorologist Mo Chamel that was making its way, according to a viewer, through Natchez Trace State Park. Um, so it's continued at least into at some parts of southeastern Carroll, if not northeastern Henderson County. So what's left of it is now mostly east of Highway 641. Again, this does not include cities of Parsons or Decaturville. It also does not include Camden, but it does include portions of Benton and Decatur County. And the tornado warning lasts in effect for the next nine minutes. Emergency management had reported in Henderson County. Uh, the tornado was on the ground at Interstate 40 near Natchez Trace State Park. So that's another update there from local emergency management officials near Wildersville. There's four miles east northeast of Wildersville, actually, uh, that the thunderstorm is at least still doing some damage in that part of West Tennessee. Um, let's see, we got another video. I'm going to try to share another video with you if we can uh, to talk about the uh, storm here. This one, this is a separate video that we're going to show on the big screen. This is going to be on weather uh, one again. And I'm going to go ahead and try that, pull that up here for you. If we could just go back and dial over to weather one. This is another visual for uh, the tornado as it made its way through Carroll County. Uh, this video, I believe here, we're actually looking right at Carroll County Thousand Acre Lake. So I'll jump on screen here to just point this out. Uh, I believe we're looking off to, if uh, we come up on screen here, I believe we're looking off to the east southeast. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, I believe, though, that we would be looking uh, what would end up being on the western side of Highway 70, because that is Highway 70 there. And looking off to the east-southeast, there's the tornado again trying to make contact. You can clearly see it rotating. You can see it trying to make contact with the ground. Uh, that's the tornado that we've been tracking uh, for about 15 miles now across West Tennessee, making its way through Carroll County now. And we didn't get any reports like that from Gibson County where the first tornado warning was issued at 529 earlier this evening. Uh, so as of right now, the only confirmed tornado touchdowns have been over parts of Carroll County. And we still have not got any confirmed reports of damage. We're still waiting on that, actually. Uh, so no reports of property damage in any parts of Carroll County. So that's good. We hope that'll still be the case as we'll continue to try to see if we uh, can get any updates on that throughout the evening. I know with the storm moving over parts of, uh, uh, excuse me, over parts of 
Interstate 40, uh, that would certainly be an area greatly at risk uh, for this tornado. Uh, but this is one more look here as we're closing in on the end of the coverage as this cell is about to make its way across the Tennessee River and out of West Tennessee. We'll continue the local programming, into, cutting into local programming through that time, though. And uh, this storm still very close to the Benton and Decatur County line here. Sugar Tree, Cosette, uh, those areas still need to be in their tornado safe place. Uh, but it does include a very small, small section of southeastern Benton County there. Very close to uh, parts of the Tennessee River. If I just turn off radar here, you can see, again, this is a very rural area, mostly filled with just various certain hilly areas and very few populated areas across that section. So it's, it's quite hilly. Um, terrain can sometimes impact uh, tornadoes effect, but uh, not always. We don't always see that. Sometimes tornadoes just continue to plow right through. So Sugar Tree, you seem to be very close to where this might still be rotating. Velocity signatures continue to look very weak, um, so I don't see any reason why. Um, at least uh, this is a very violent tornado, but still possibly a weak tornado. And the National Weather Service just let us know here at 754 that they are going to let the tornado warning expire at 754. And since it's actually moving out of our coverage area, it is going to... Uh, uh, cause us to send you back to local programming at about 8 o'clock tonight. You can see several other thunderstorms have developed in parts of Middle Tennessee, and we still have some pockets of heavy rain in West Tennessee, too. Just putting this in motion, you'll see the showers, heavy showers that move through Huntingdon now. We've also got some heavy rain uh, in Silerton and other parts of Hardin, Hardeman County. Uh, so this latest image shows you that there are pockets of heavy showers, at least in Roberson, uh, Massey Vale, Pine Top, and just south of Silerton and south of Bolivar in Hardeman County, too. Uh, but I don't see any indication that there's any other rotation there um, with any of those other cells. There's probably some heavy rain going on with that shower activity moving through West Tennessee there. So only one that has notably produced any um, severe characteristics was this system that produced a tornado that moved through Carroll County for about 10 to 15 miles uh, this evening. And uh, so we'll continue to see this system move east of the Tennessee River soon. Latest confirmed reports, by the way, were um, actually THP confirming tornado on the ground at I-40 in the Natchez Trace area. So that would be just roughly located about here. This is a look at the exit ramp, actually, where uh, Natchez Trace comes through. That's Yuma Road and Camden Road. Uh, so right about Natchez Trace State Park in this vicinity is where the tornado was last reported to have been located. I also do have a report that um, South Southwest Dyer County, um, or excuse me, South Southwest Dyer, the city of Dyer in Gibson County Emergency Management is reporting tree damage across Dyer County. Uh, so we'll need a clarification on that if the damage is in Dyer County or in the city of Dyer um, as we've got two separate places there on the map that you can see. Uh, one is the city of Dyer where the tornado warning was first issued from and then you've got Dyer County. So those are two separate. I'm going to assume that this is, since this is Gibson County officials reporting though that it is for the city of Dyer. So we'll need to check in on the damage in the city of Dyer as well. The storm though continues to make its way east toward the Tennessee River. Severe thunderstorm, a warning was in effect for parts of southwest Tennessee, but right now this is the only warning in west Tennessee currently, and it is for possibly still a tornado on the ground making its way across parts of Decatur County. Now, mostly out of Benton County, with the exception of the southernmost tip there of uh, Benton County there. We'll clear that off. I want to draw just a quick section across the map just to get an update on the size of the storm. Still coming about 20 to 30,000 feet in height, maybe just barely touching up between 30 and 40. Uh, and that's been about the height of the storm so far this evening. Uh, again, not a lot of indication that there has been much in terms of some upper level velocity here with this system. Mostly just been looking at some very low level rotation. Uh, so not a whole lot of indication that this storm uh, has had a very violent tornado, perhaps just a weak tornado making its way through West Tennessee this evening. Uh, and again, I hope that we're not going to see too many reports of damage, but we have not actually seen any except for the most recent one that just came out that we're going to need to get some clarification on uh, the exact location. But it seems to be indicating that it was in Dyer, the city of Dyer, and not in the county of Dyer that there was uh, damage. But we'll try to clarify that for you for the news at 10 o'clock. And uh, just a few minutes, of course, we will be sending it back to local programming at 8 p.m. But uh, in the meantime, still sticking with this cell that might still be producing a tornado right on the, almost on the Tennessee River, 
and uh, continuing to at least head in towards Perry County. So if you know any folks that are in Perry County, please let them know as well. In uh, the areas north of Linden near Lobelville, that's where the storm seems to be on its way next. And ultimately then it'll continue in toward Middle Tennessee and it'll be out of our coverage area. Uh, but we still have a couple of showers still showing up in West Tennessee at the moment. And some of those are in Chester County, heading towards Bethel Springs, also south of Bolivar in Hardeman County, and certainly still over parts of Carroll County too, where just recently we had heavy rain come through. And in that case, there was a tornado on the ground. So just last a couple of things here. We're getting ready to send you back. Uh, one more video I just want to share. You can see a photo on Weather One. We're going to share one last picture of why we have been cutting into local programming here for almost two and a half hours now with a brief break in our six o'clock newscast. Uh, this was the photo that we saw from near Carroll County Lake, which, which is roughly where the tornado may have first touched down. Uh, it's possible that it did touch down actually in parts of Gibson County too. And again, we're going to try to confirm that a little bit later on this evening. And then this is uh, one of the videos. I'm going to show you uh, one that was sent in a little bit earlier. This is this is one of the many videos that we've had actually of the tornado on the ground. And that was again over parts of Carroll County near Carroll County Thousand Acre Lake. A report of two homes with roof damage. One home is off Highway 114 and a report of several trees uprooted and snapped across Carroll County. So now the damage reports are starting to come in with this tornado that's made its way through West Tennessee this evening. Again, this started all started in Gibson County. Uh, but it's been moving toward Carroll and then eventually now has made its way in towards Decatur County where it is leaving and the tornado warning will expire here in a few seconds. Uh, but uh, we will continue to get more information as we can from reporters and from storm spotters, local officials in West Tennessee on the damage that has occurred with this tornado on uh, this evening uh, in West Tennessee. So make sure to tune in to WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News at 10 for that, that but a 